song. I don't always like it. Uh, where's it's the vocal like version? Well, it's it's with what's his face? What's his name? <laughs> what's who sings that song? What's his name? Woody Allen. Yeah, Woody Allen. Hey Come on over. <laughs> Come on. Lady takes it out. Apple. <laughs> For sure. One time, look at you. two times. <laughs> two Fred, look at the, Fred, look at these losers quoting Family Guy from 20 years ago. Hey, man, it was, it was funny back then. Yeah, uh, what you just said was... <laughs> Why was that funny? Right. Right. paid by the fucking Apple. Anyway, guys, so, hey, this is Turbo Slide DX. We're oh, starting. are we starting? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. Man, sometimes you gotta record all the gold uh, oh, when people aren't paying attention. I'm God, sorry. Yo, God bless. It's been a long I time. wasn't the one quoting yeah. family, I said, sorry. Hey, man, it's okay. You're gay anyway. Whoa. At least I wasn't robbing cradles. I mean, kind of. You gotta get it somehow, man. <laughs> what? Okay, no. Podcast <laughs> over. We're done. Ooh, anyway, guys, yeah, this is uh, Turbo Slide DX. We're finally back for another fucking podcast after like a year, a year, a year almost. No, like, try a longer than a year. Try it was because like it was right before my kid was born. That was we it that we did a last podcast? Yeah, and then you know, baby came into this world yeah. and he's loud and obnoxious and he likes to smack things and he walks around a little bit. Anyway, that's not about him; it's about us. What up? I'm here with Richard and Jeremy on my end, and it's uh, we got Fred and Jeff on the Facebook Messenger because we're. The whole everybody's Four. here. <laughs> everybody's here in Smash. Why Luigi's poking his head through the window? <laughs> all the warriors. All the... Well, we're gonna keep this. Uh, we're gonna keep this episode simple. We're just gonna talk about the shit casual. that we've been playing lately. And uh, I know Jeff's over there playing the fucking KMRs. Who wants to start? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get out of the way. <laughs> So, I've been playing something that came out recently, a little game by the name of Resident Evil 2. You know, something that, the game that came out in 1998, yeah, it's back. Uh, it's got a new look, it's, they completely redone it, remade it. Kind of like they did with uh, the original remake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to be like? Are you uh, are, are you uh, reading off the wiki right? Now? <laughs> Resident I mean, Evil 2 remake. No, Resident I mean, Evil 2 came in 1998. What do you want me to do? You want me to like sit there and freaking? Why don't you just be like, room? yeah, I'm totally hyped. Like, I mean, I, I am know. hyped. I love the game. I've been playing it, and like, it's one of the games I've been playing recently. Recently, that's like. I'm sorry, this is headphones really throwing me off. Yeah, no, it's like a slight, <laughs> It's throwing me off a bit. But anyway, um, it's one of those games that I played recently that's, that's really stuck with me and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I kind of haven't really put down, I mean, well, except for when I gotta go to work. But other than that, um, like I said, it's it, it's remade completely like in the vein, of, I guess, of the original Resident Evil remake, which is a remake of the first game, sort of. Say that. Not quite. Uh, well, let me finish, Jeff. Not quite like that, obviously, because they modernize it, giving it more of the uh, behind the the character, third person view, where you're running around, obviously, like you would, uh, similar to most third person shooters, behind the bag, all that nonsense. But what's really nice about this one, uh, this remake, is that it's almost one to one. To the original. I mean, they change some things. They do some nice little. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Homages. Uh, homages, I guess, to other things homages. like Outbreak. I just learned actually earlier today about how there's certain characters uh, from Outbreak. They're they don't make an appearance, but they kind of have a little cameo. Like Mega Man. Sort of. Like what's her name? Uh, Rita Phillips who is uh, one of the police officers from Outbreak. Sure, she has a desk in the RPD. It's just right there with her nameplate. But anyway, um, the game, it's, I don't know how to describe it other than like, I don't want to say it's perfect because no game is perfect. You, you haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's not go that far. <laughs> we'll get there. Crime. We'll <laughs> get there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there, but like what this game it goes back to to its roots obviously because it's Resident Evil 2 They're remaking Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil started off with zombies. It didn't go into the crazy bioterrorism 
nonsense that started with fucking four. Grab the arms. The what? Talking about Pierce. Oh, yeah, his his weird little freaking railgun arm or electric arm, whatever the fuck it is. But anyway, it goes back to zombies and, and more of a, the, the survival horror roots, um, more so than the more the other games have i can't really speak for seven because i haven't played seven but i've heard good things about seven but um with it going back down to that back to its survival horror roots everything's you know much tense much more tense which is scary you know these people are getting freaked out from simple things that you know like zombies and shit but um it's great because a great game. Man, this this the first seven minutes of this podcast sounds like it's been brought to us by goddamn Capcom. Like, am I chilling? <laughs> Do I sound like I'm right chilling? <laughs> you sound like you're am chilling. I a Capcom chill? <laughs> I so mean, it's like Ryu has your has his hand on your shoulder, and Big <laughs> Man has his hand on your other shoulder, and they're like, "Read the script." It's great. I got I gotta game. say I, I gotta say, Jeremy, uh, as someone who played uh, seven. And remake two, who just beat it not too long ago, yeah. uh, as in the other day. I, your explanation confuses me. How so? Uh, I, what do you like? Do you know what game you're playing? Yeah, I'm playing Resident Evil Two. Oh. All right, it just because you're all over the place. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm literally, t- I'm just sitting here and saying like the game that I played recently, how it's been, how it's making me feel. It's brought him all the nostalgia. It's, it's brought him. Well, I can't all say nostalgic because I've only. I've only played a little bit of two. I can't really say I've been in depth with it, other than like the, the parts that I played. Which I mean, it feels very familiar, other than like the whole liquor placement thing. I wish so I like, could tell you how for example, in you I am right now. Like I wish I could properly convey how much disappointment I have for you. That you've never. Oh God. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that I've what? <laughs> that I've what? That you've actually never played RE2. Okay, I did. I just okay. told you I did. You just I just didn't beat it. Barely. I'm sorry I didn't beat the yeah, original. I mean, as someone who uh, stayed away from the original Resident Evil because he was a scared little bitch then, he still is now. Yeah, I was about uh, to say, weren't you scared of the demo? I jumped on uh, Resident Evil 2 because Jeremy wanted me to stream it. I did. Our edge at Twitch. Uh, well, the Twitch. fuck? And, uh, <laughs> I was playing it and like... Fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bro, like, I, like, there was like, one scene when you go in that bathroom in the beginning and you like open that locker and the dude falls out. Like, I, I was literally like, <laughs> <laughs> time to walk in there. Can't walk in there yet. Oh, God! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> alright, alright. You should have seen this guy when we were streaming and he was playing and he got to the part with the liquor, the first liquor. And he's freaking the fuck out because he doesn't know what to do with this thing. So I was just like, I was kind of like guiding him a little bit. I was like, all right, guy, just just don't run, just walk. And I was like, run, to, walk, not run, walk to the star's office. And so he run, he walks into the star's office, and he's just sitting there, and he's just like, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this right now. I believe it. All right, now you're gonna want to go back out there with Liquor Boy. I'm good. No, you need to. I'm good. You just gotta walk. Walk but right the door him. makes a lot of noise. No, you'll be fine. Just walk and be careful. I don't believe you. You missed us. Oh, he moved. Shut the fuck up, Jeremy. I can't do this. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just <sighs> keep going. Hey, click the run button. Don't run. Do not run. Unless you know these motherfuckers. He might be around that corner, so be careful. I won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, go! God damn it. If you don't, he'll drive the screen and get you. Keep going. There he is. You need to move. You need to move. You need to move. Keep going. Keep going. Now you're fucked. Now you're fucked. Fuck. Why'd you run? <laughs> you run. You have to go that way. You have to go that way. Oh my god. Am I safe in here? Yeah, I guess. Oh my god. He was right in my face, bro. You, you, you lost him. You, how do I heal? He was again. on the wall, and you needed to walk around him. But you just hesitated and didn't walk around him. And as soon as he gets in front of you, he's going to detect you. 
I don't want to just like outright tell you, but you have to walk like walk around him. But he walked. He was too late. <sighs> now you're gonna have to go out there and fucking run for it, cause he. I think he knows you're in there. No, I don't know. I think after a while like, he's gonna be like Mr. X. I mean, you can walk. You used up your only health items, so. And these motherfuckers can take you down in a couple hits, so. Like, if he starts swinging at you, you need to run. You need to run left, left, and then down the hall. I can't do this, man. The you, stress is real. You can do it. I can't do you, it. You, you haven't is... even dealt with stress yet. You can uh, ask him. Oh, not... wait until Mr. X comes. Just shut up. Yeah, but like... Don't ruin it. This is like... Y'all yeah, like this genre. I, I can't play this shit, man. Do you really not want to play it? Uh, I mean, like... I don't know. I'm just stressed right now. You played Dead Space and you beat Dead Space. Come on. Dead Space wasn't as stressful as this. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Dead Space had a sense of goofiness to it. You can do it. Come on. No. <laughs> you can do this. Just walk out there. He might have not. He just probably doesn't know where you are anymore. All you gotta do is walk. Walk around him. Yeah, because he stopped beating on the door, so you should be okay. Oh, he hears like a slight knock, and he's like, "No, you're in there." <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go. Do I scared, to? Matt? We need, just to, we, we need to satisfy our total zero viewers. God damn it. I can't. Excuse me, I'm ah. There you go. And I'm just like, no, nah, man, you gotta go out there and, well, and the, fucking... The video on demand is still there, so... I mean, I can yeah, you, you can watch it if you really want to. But, yeah, he's just sitting there in the office, and he's just like, I can't do this. I'm like, no, you gotta go out there, and you gotta get past this motherfucker so you can go back to the main hall. And he's like, no, no, I can't do it. Like, like so we sat there for, like, a good five minutes as he's just sitting there contemplating what he's gonna do. And then I fucking the go back out there. Liquor is nowhere to be seen. I think I'm safe. I turn a corner, and his head's poking out, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, you, you moved. He, I mean, he moved. He moved, and, I, and, like, I'm telling you, he's probably right around the corner. You might want to, like, get moving around him, and your ass walks right into him. So I'm just like, why would you walk Stupid. right to him? <laughs> so of course he's gonna attack you. But yeah, so that like when you look at the original uh, Resident Evil 2 and then you compare it to the remake, well, obviously, obviously it looks like trash. Well, obviously because it's a PlayStation One game, but it, like obviously you're seeing uh, in the PS1, the original PS1 version. You look at it, it's a lot more colorful. You know, the whole PS1 look and whatnot. And then you look at this one, everything's more dark, dreary, drab. Really adds to that whole survival horror well, at aspect. At least it's not like 5, where like, the game was colorful on its own, and then he added that filter over it. I mean, you're in Africa, so everything's fucking bright. Mm, bye, boy. Okay, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mr. Ungabunga. That's a little racist, I'm sorry. That's not right. Sorry, but he's holding an Australian dog right now. Yeah, you know, there's a dog in the podcast yeah. now. But yeah, they, they they did some some nice little things and changed up some things. Like for example, what I was trying to say before about the liquor, the first liquor that you come across. Originally, it was you when you get through that first like waiting room area. I think it was a waiting room. I don't remember. And you go through, you see that one window. It's supposed to like kind of like crawl across the window, and then you go into the next hall. What? Hold your thoughts. Matt, she's in the heat and she's been licking her own vagina for like two weeks. Please don't let her lick your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is weird, man. Nigga, I don't know this shit. <laughs> I'm letting you know I'm right guessing now. guessing your house. This ain't my dog. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, um, originally in that first hall that you go to after Marvin's just like, Hey man, go uh, do stuff. And it's supposed to be there, like at least in the original it was, and they changed its placement for the whole like camera nonsense. Um, and then they moved it to the hall with the star's office, but you know that was the one thing that they changed. And they also changed the whole thing with that I hear about with uh, Mr. X. How originally in the original game uh, he only really appeared in certain areas, and now in this game they completely changed it like up at all, like completely. This motherfucker just follows you everywhere, well, you literally know, once everywhere. X got out of jail, you know. I mean, he did get out of jail. <laughs> he didn't. He got out of jail, and now he's free to do what he wants to do. Knock, knock, it's me, your boy. Knock, knock, open up the door. <laughs> no, <it's real. laughs> but um, yeah, now this motherfucker's just running around the entire RPD. So, let me ask you a question: As someone who was totally ignorant to Resident Evil Two and Resident Evil, 4. so you yeah. actually that starting area, do you actually go back to it, like that whole starting yeah, area. Yeah, you can. You can, but like, so. 
the part I got to is when I opened that thing and went like semi underground. Yeah. So Mr. X starts chasing you sooner or later, and he yes. can chase you in that room, in that area too. Yes. And after that point. Wait, in and what? In the in the RPD. In the RPD. No, it, it, what? When you did you do the three medallion thing? Yeah. yeah he that. he went around. He doesn't chase you underground because you don't come across him until until you um. Well, the, I, I don't want to tell Matt. No, no, no. What I'm getting at it. is that like he starts chasing you around the RPD, and you can go back. He to doesn't the go down the safe room. Yeah. Okay. Well, what? He doesn't go in save room. It's the only the only save. room room i guess you can still call it is that he goes in is the main hall every other like safe room or save room whatever you want to call it he doesn't go in. well what i'm getting at is that like when you go back to the main rpd in the main hall or whatever the lieutenant dude's already like long gone probably a zombie by now or something right yeah he actually like walk around and you marvin down or yeah marvin yeah yeah so like because i was asking because i was like if fucking mr x is walking around this dude's like somehow still alive chilling on a chair i feel bad for him because he's mr x is like sits next to me he's like hey man <laughs> All right, so, wait. Do you want to do you want to know? Because when you get to a certain point in the game, he doesn't show up in the RPD anymore. Well, yeah, that's you, back, not when you. What? Yeah. No, say it again. Say it again. Cause it kind of yeah. it kind of cut out. When you when you go down to that secret passage, you go into the basement, right? When you're down in that parking garage. Area, and beyond, he doesn't go back to the to the police department. You can go back and explore to your heart's content. Uh, well, yeah, that's he doesn't no because because they, they have to have Mister X in certain spots. Like he has to appear in certain areas. He doesn't go back. So, well, yeah. After that initial time that you're you first run into him in RPD, then after that <clears throat> you're going out in the sewers, and eventually you'll go from like. Before you, I don't want to really ruin it for people who haven't like gotten through into the a full game. Full on you know, dissertation of Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah. there are turbos like DX. We talk about games, and when we do, we spoil them half the time. So all I'm saying <laughs> is there's <laughs> a specific <laughs> there's a specific point in time in that game where you can go back to the RPD and do shit and get shit that you didn't get before. You just let or, everybody know that the threat isn't even real after a certain point. I mean, it's still real. Because it's not, you don't have to worry about Mr. X. Now you have to worry about the different placement of zombies and liquors. Because now there, now there's more of them in different spots. So that one liquor or those two liquors that were at the Stars Hall or the, um, uh, I forgot what, I think it was the, um, you can the, hear that drop. I know. <laughs> I think it was at the, uh, the one area before the library. I forgot what it was called. It was like a storage room, but not quite. But either way. Now they're like in different areas, one being in the original spot that it was in in the original game. So like there's a there's there's still a threat when you do go back later with you know different placement of zombies and especially if you didn't board up windows, now these motherfuckers are just piling through the window. Mm. They're just gonna keep coming. So there's always that too. So there's still a threat always looming over. But uh, other than that, I mean the story, uh it's a lot more, I guess, streamlined for modern times. I guess you want to say. I mean, it's essentially the same story. They have the whole, the whole quote-unquote zapping system, even though it's just you know scenario A, scenario B. So you you go back and forth with Leon and Claire. So you have you know two, your two characters that you can play as, and they're two different stories. But they're I don't know they're they don't. To me, they don't seem that amazingly different. There's diff there's differences, but they're not hugely different. Um, at least in this one. I mean, they they probably just made everything as close as they could, being well, yeah. as faithful as they could because of the remake or whatever. But you know, with it being hmm. 2000, god dang 19, I'm sure they tried to go out of their way and make it so that. You know, you get your different details popping out. You it's find it a PlayStation One in the RPG, popping Resident Evil Two disc in your Let's see, it was, <laughs> it was so in that, uh, <laughs> it was in the E three trailer that they showed, which is at the, which takes place at the in the beginning of the game, as soon as you boot it up at that gas station. But I don't think it's actually there in the full game. I think that was just like a trailer thing that they showed. But, um, All right. Oh, it's Resident fucking evil 2 remake. 
Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of nice little things. There's a lot of changes. Yeah, there's a lot of changes. Yeah. A lot more. For someone else who's uh, who played this game, what do you think? It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey cool. Highbrown is cool. Nine out of ten. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 when you, when all right when you're comparing. I, I didn't know we were going to go this far into this, but if I uh, were to say anything, it they couldn't be any more different. They're, it's not even like... I don't even think it's a fucking remake anymore. It just feels like its own new thing. Clearly, in you're general. You're just fucking objectively wrong, and everything you said is stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm told that often enough on Twitter. Wouldn't be a first time. But, uh... Honestly, though, when uh, you look at both games, they're very. It not only is the enemy placement different, where keys are, where Leon and Claire go. There's a big split. Item placement too. Uh, yeah, item placement, uh, weapons. Uh, the, the fucking now there's like um, an item deposit area. You have to get like two spare keys to open up the rest of them. It's really annoying oh, getting those yeah, portable yeah. sets. Yeah, that. Okay. That shit is kind of dumb. I that mean, wasn't in the original fucking... It's just, there's so much that's... You'd, you'd have to compile a list how much is different. Some some of it does pay a homage, and what's really cool is, is if you have the deluxe version or the collector's edition, which I did, and the statue's really nice, is that you get the... As DLC, and I kind of wish it wasn't DLC, is that you get the option to switch to the classic music and the classic sound effects. Which is nice. So when I was versing Mr. X with, as Leon, uh, it, you get his um, Mr. X's classic theme playing. Uh, it was fun. I will say, though, that the deaths are really brutal. There's a particular uh, fight against Burke and the, uh, main pro the main protagonist, the main antagonist, and uh, it's really, really creepy. <laughs> but then I kept dying, and it just kind of lost effect. All right, let me, oh, let me call wait, you right wait. there. Matt, did you, did you, is everything good? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. Fun. I was uh, lowering the volume just a little bit. Oh, so, because, like, it was getting kind of loud. Okay. So, Jeff, which, which Birkin fight are you talking about? Which, you could just say the number, like, two. Oh, two. number five. Oh, okay. Goddamn. Yeah. Goddamn <laughs> <laughs> No, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just say that with a big extra receptors. Yeah, is that you need to? Um, it needs to be in the second run in order to fight the fifth one. Yeah, it's a, it's like the original game where you need to you need to do so like you do like say Claire and would fight uh, Erkin in his final form because you wouldn't get it if you beat it with Claire the first time. Yeah. There's your zapping system, so that way Pretty you much. can have it, it turns one game it turns two games into four games. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta do quite a bit of playing. And, and Hideki Mia will block you on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> who? Hideki Kamiya, the guy who made Resident Evil 2. He blocks everybody. Fuck him. Yeah, he blocked because I tweeted Kiryu at him. Why did you do that? That was it? funny. Because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you knew he was gonna block you. No, I didn't actually. He's he's been on the warpath of just blocking people where he'll sit there and just like if you don't speak Japanese I'm blocking you. If you just tweet bullshit at me I'm blocking you. That's racist. I mean that's what he that's what he Oh about. oh one other there's something else really cool about the remake is the the outfits and not just the alternate outfits you get for beating the game but also the uh, the DLC ones. Uh, the DLC the ones which is yeah, the noir outfit's so cool because it changes the whole filter to be noir. Does it really? So it's like yeah. white and shit. Yeah. Whole... I haven't tried the the other outfits. I've been most. I did. With the uh, the basic outfits. You could change them at any time. Can't you get like uh, Claire's alternate outfit that's like the original bitch from like 1.5 or whatever? Also, Walker is oh, so a DLC. Yeah. That's a Elsa, DLC yeah. outfit. Yeah, you, that's a, that was one of the pre-order outfits. But that's a deluxe edition thing. Yeah, that, that bullshit, because I have that one, and it's, it's alright. So this podcast is brought to you by Capcom. Uh, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna move away from Resident Evil 2 Remake for a little bit. Uh, you fuck! I know, um, there's something else you want to talk about. <laughs> I forgot what it was, though. But, uh, you said the second game. I did? I no, I didn't. Oh, fuck you. He was probably gonna say Travis... He's probably gonna say Travis... Oh, no more Heroes 
fucking Travis strikes. Well, I yeah, can't really but say too much about it because I haven't. That game it yet. sucks. It doesn't <laughs> suck. What? How does it suck? Well, the guy's Because I, because I played it for five minutes and I determined it was the worst. Or maybe you played it expecting it to be another No More Heroes game instead of just being another, you know, just a spin-off title, which is what it is. I'm just kidding. I don't. It's all right. No, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could talk a little bit about that. Uh, I haven't really beaten it yet because I haven't really found the time to. And every time I fucking put my Switch in standby, it decides it wants to update, and I can't for some reason just jump back into the game unless there's something I'm missing. So I have to turn it off and update, and then I lose any progress that I had. But I'm on like the fucking fourth game. The fucking I forgot what it's called. Oh, that one time you booted the game up and like every time you jumped, you just died. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that was a, that was an honest bug. I don't know what the fuck was up with that. Legit, every time I jumped in the one level that I was in, Travis just instantly died. You like, for <laughs> like a little airborne, he's like both his feet left the ground. And he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> my right. But I mean, the game's fun. It does things very differently. It's not a traditional No More Heroes game. So you're not just running around a level. You know, doing your horizontal slashes and your vertical slashes, or your heavy light slashes, have light heavy slashes, whatever the fuck. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played the original Number Heroes. Um, and fighting just a wave of dudes. Now it's just you're fighting a wave of bugs because the game is very, very self-aware about what it is. And you're in a video game. Yeah, you're in video. You're in a video game, and it takes a lot of jabs at like the whole uh, game industry. And they make a lot of jokes about that, but mostly you're just going around in the, in the video game. In the video game, uh, I don't really know why yet because they haven't really said why. Travis is just collecting all the death balls, as they're called, for the Death Drive Mark II, which is what the system is called that he keeps getting sucked into. Isn't the Death Drive the same game system they use in the Let It Die? Yes. There you go. Yeah. It's all a fun and all fact. From Suda, every every one of Suda 51's games, he wants them. I'm serious. He wants them to connect. No yeah. more heroes. Let it die. Shadows of the Damned. The Silver Case. Fucking uh, Killer what 7. the fuck's that? What's that? Yeah, Killer Seven. Yeah. I'm like fucking. Remember have a character in the intro? From, <laughs> what's his name? Uh. Rogers, no, not Rogers. <laughs> That's fucking big. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait. You're talking. You're talking about the from ending in No More Heroes One, where like one of the characters from Killer Seven tries to kill Travis no, on no, no, the. No. There's actually the, like the main. I guess one of the main characters or whatever from Killer Seven is in the intro for uh, one of the intros because there's like multiple intros that they keep adding to the game. Um, there's multiple intros, and one of the intros shows like how. Badman, who's Bad Girl's father from the first game. Badman. Yeah, that guy. Badman is just like getting instructed to go kill Travis. And <laughs> well, we're picking up all that water. <laughs> Being you, drunk right you now. Thirsty goddamn <laughs> Dogs drinking water. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so better, one of the intros, drink. one of the intros has Badman um, being instructed to go kill Travis. But the person that's like there, you know, telling him what to do is the guy from Killer Seven, whose name I can't remember right now. No, Mondo was from um, what the, Fred, what's the game called? What? what? Killer's oh. dead. Killer, Killer is dead. dead. Yeah, yeah, Mondo from Killer is dead is in the game. He's there, and he's just like he's in one scenario. That Travis runs into when he's trying to get one of the death balls, and Mondo just kills fucking Dracula. He, <laughs> like legit, they're in a castle, and Mondo's just like, "Yeah, I killed Dracula. And here's this death ball. Have it. Fuck yeah, off." Did like the walk like fucking? <laughs> he definitely <laughs> didn't. Um, but yeah, he. There's a bunch of just characters from different Grasshopper games. Uh, Dan Smith. Dan Smith is the character from Killer Seven. That's just in oh. Travis Strikes Again. <laughs> They all got sucked beginning. into the mysterious console somehow. Either Dan Smith or Kevin Smith, one of the two. Even though Travis has it for some reason. He in his trailer. It. His and trailer, I don't know. There's people alluding to it taking place between No More Heroes 1 and 2, but that doesn't make sense because characters that appear. Look, the final battle 
and No More Heroes 2 made no fucking sense. <laughs> None of the games make sense, but it's whatever. That's neither here nor there. It's a different game um, from the original game, No More Heroes games. It's literally just a, a fucking, like, hack and slash. I, I don't want to quite say, like, a... Uh, like a side scrolling brawler or whatever though, because it's just like a fucking hack and slash. You just run around, mindlessly press, you know, one button for light light attacks and then one other button for heavy attacks, and you get different skills. By the way, all the skills in the game are named after Gundams, which Ooh. is really cool. So you get you're like, missing oh, you're missing what? an important thing. What's That's the cool. important thing I'm missing? Je Jean is fat again. The cat. She's on the cut. She's on the title screen. She's and fat you, somehow. You mean Jean? Jean, John, same thing. Yeah, she talks too. It's weird, but yeah, yeah. all the skills are made after Gundams. But whatever. Travis Strikes Again is a spin-off, but it's a cool game. I recommend it. Go out there, and try it. Buy it or No More Heroes Three is not happening. Yeah, buy it. So No More Heroes Three. <laughs> That's the there's the carrot. <laughs> Two to fifty one and Capcom were showing for the both of them. Who's this Travis Touchdown guy? He seems pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, man. But anyway, that's that's on the toilet to save the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my little spiel. Those are the games that I've been playing recently that I really enjoyed. So I'll uh, pass Moving it off to somebody else. Moving on from Jeremy, Richard. All right. Let's, let's so. I have been dedicating my time to Kingdom Hearts 3, which I'm sure a lot of us have uh, opinions about. But other than that, Dragon Ball Fighters Season 2 has just started, which means uh, Jiren that everybody's looking forward to and Videl in unexpected release. Those two have come out on the 31st of January. It's been a day? Two days? A uh, day. A day. Um, and with that, they brought a whole bunch of changes to a lot of the mechanics of the game itself, giving players a little bit more defensive options, um, and all the mindless, offensive, unga bunga, hashtag racist people <laughs> are, are up in arms over there. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! Got that knuckle dragon. Somebody who annoys you, nagger. But anyway, <laughs> so... <laughs> I could just picture them about to type. Now they just finger over that end. <laughs> and then they write, oh, have a nice day. With, with that being said, um, it's kind of breathed a little bit new life into it for some of the players. Videl's a, a great character, which I honestly wasn't expecting. She's like an upgraded Android 17 with some Android 18-esque possibilities. Um, I had a lot of fun with her in day one, and you know, all the pros are still. Until they had full commission, she gets her ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bad day for I Fidel. Can't, can't go then, look who's K. Okay, go ahead, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, to be, yeah, to be that, fair, that seems pretty she brutal. did break his neck. Yeah. And if he wasn't under the control of Bobby, he would have died. He would have died. <laughs> so but she did that. So if, if, if I would have done broke my neck and then woke up from it, I would have been like, come here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you realize that like he beat her ass so bad that she never fought again after that? He beat her ass so bad, Gohan almost ascended again. <laughs> <laughs> he beat her ass so bad that she became what they call plot sow, just, for, just to have a baby. What is Toriyama trying to tell us? Beat all the women. <laughs> yeah. See, this would happen if you're in the kitchen. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <God>. is <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, fighters, some good stuff. I uh, I wouldn't say I recommend it to to new people because it can seem like it's easy when it's not, but it kind of is. It's kind of stupid, but I love it. Um. So this uh. This podcast was brought to you by Bandai Namco. Um, moving on from that, Kingdom Hearts 3. So, 16 years since Kingdom Hearts 1. And then... Has it been that I think it came out. When's, how long has it been? I thought it was 2003. It's been more than a year. That's the longest three hundred sixty-five days. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Two thousand, yeah, but yeah, 2003. Take Fuck that Call Christ. of Duty. But uh, yeah, yeah, bros, we made it. It's here and it's fucking phenomenal. 
Yeah. Um, I wasn't too Phantom sure Force, about the... the first one, March 28th, 2002. Ooh, well, seven, seven, well, not well, seventeen full yeah. years. Yeah. So Who cares? I do. We don't care. Go on. Uh, I wasn't sure about the intro when it came out during all the trailers, but I feel like they really did a good thing with the intro remix as far as, you know, bringing up. Can I, can I interject real quick? No. I hate that. Oh, I hate that, like, game companies are doing that now. Like, the one thing I always look forward to, especially after the first game of Hearts, was, like, the intro. Mm -hmm. And, like, I know the internet's, like, more of a thing now, and, like, people are getting early copies and posting that shit, but, like, Keep some of that shit for like. I understand like the whole game wasn't leaked or anything like that. Like when I say leaked, I mean like the whole. You plot wasn't, like, Square leaked. posted that. Yeah, no, but I'm saying what like, the fuck are you. I, I think that's what he's getting at. Like he's, the fact he's that saying he don't... he didn't want them like he doesn't want companies to keep putting this shit out and ruining. They put too much game. shit out. They, yeah, they yeah. put too much. Companies out. put too much shit out. Now you know that's the whole like, fucking you, game. You before can it comes say that out. about fucking movie trailers. It's been like well, that yeah, forever. Smash yeah, but movie movie players are like bits and pieces, but Squares is like, here's the whole opening. Like Bullshit. Like to, There's like some trailers stuff. that show off an entire movie. Fuck out of here. There's some there's like I would have been like, you know what? I would have been fine with booting up the game. I mean I I am kinda happy that because when you first boot up King Mars 3, like I kinda let the title like run and it like shows that whole yeah. cutscene, whatever. Yeah. Like I'm happy that that didn't get out. But like the whole opening, you know, the new uh fucking song remix with Skrillex or whatever, I was like you know, like, leave that shit under wraps. Like, let us, like, just see it on release. Like, why are you such a hurry nope. to release it? Did they really put out the entire intro? Because I feel like the one that we watched that's actually in-game, when you boot it up for the first time. It was, time, like... I feel like it was way longer. I can tell you. They, uh, they definitely know, cut it down when they uploaded it. That's what it. I'm saying. I feel like they cut wasn't, it down, so you didn't see it. wasn't the whole like, thing. Even, like, with Smash Bros, when they, like, showed, like, the World of Light opening, like... Don't even show it. Just let it. Let me boot the fucking thing up and let me see it from a damn. World of World, World of Light sucks though. It yeah, does, it does suck. To be fair, twenty hours of suck. Am I the only one who enjoyed <laughs> it? I thought it was okay. I mean, it wasn't like subspace no, emissary. I don't even know okay for what it was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's yeah. it's sort I mean, of like, like a the ending was I think stupid, but you know. For... I think it's a little too flimsy, but it's a good time waster, I guess. World, it is a good time of... waster. It's not gonna make you a better player, but you know, if you I want... mean. World of Light was fun for like the five minutes that I played it. I feel I feel the same way about Subspace uh, Emissary, whatever. Emissary. From Brawl, I feel like uh, it's about the same. At least Subspace really Emissary bored. had cutscenes though. Yeah, cutscenes, and it was a six-hour experience. Fucking World of Light's like a twenty-hour experience. Yeah, World of Light did with did drag with on. three cutscenes. One being the opening, <laughs> and then two fucking also ending. <laughs> Get bodied. You yeah. mean you mean the new Kirby game, right? Like, yeah, man, he's the hero. Plus, at the end of Subspace, my boy Sonic comes in and saves the day. Man, fuck uh, all, that. Of, all of Nintendo's would have been fucked if it wasn't for Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog. Fuck out of here. So, so we're gonna throw Isabelle's fishing pole and bring it back a little bit. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. So yeah, <laughs> I like that. that was good. Um, was good. Kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> um, halfway there. Um, so yeah, great, great o intro opening sequence. You know, brought brought back a lot of nostalgia because I really didn't pay attention to Kingdom Hearts since you know Fragmentary Passage or whatever. And before that, you know, 1.5, 2.5 were out, but I didn't play this since, like, they were released originally on the PS3. So, I did enjoy the fact that they had their own little recap, you know, their little five-chapter recap. Um, you know, just... Video. Give, can, we, can we talk about the fact that they, they started the game off with it saying Kingdom Hearts 2.9? Yeah, and I was just like... Oh my god, game. really? Like, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, if, if you watch that, they had a little little fucking dick teaser right there where it said 2.9 instead of 3. Fun fact, if you look at the uh, bundle online right now, that like the, when you buy Kingdom Hearts 3, how you have the option to buy the 1.5, 2.5 bundle, it says 1.5, 2.6 typo. Anyway, fun fact, keep going. Well, thanks That was that. a stupid <laughs> fact. That was a very useless fact. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck you want me to do with that? Yeah, no, I can't take that to the fucking bank. Fucking buy it and then complain to Square saying you're a promise 2.6. <laughs> <laughs> 2.6. The final, final mix. <laughs> um, I mean, good stuff. Uh, as far as gameplay goes, I'm not a fan of the whole Disney adding their own, like, attractions in there. Like, the whole fucking pirate ship and the teacups. Like, I feel like that was kind of an ass pull as far as, like, easy mode. I feel like a lot of them are, like, strange. And, like, because I got to uh, Twilight Town and, like, activated the... Uh, 
Actually, it wasn't an attraction. It was the uh, the hero shield, whatever. Oh, for um, the Herx? Herx. And then like when you start flying around on the Pegasus, whatever. Uh-huh. Like I was in the I was in like the forest leading to the mansion, and like that shit did not work in that environment at all. Oh yeah, yeah. It felt so no, fucking it, awkward. It, it doesn't work like in any part of the game except for like very open and, yeah, battles. Like boss fights or whatever. And, and that's part of the thing. Like I feel like they were mo- they were so ambitious to do stuff. They didn't care whether it like worked properly. If you know what I mean, I don't. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the pirate ship, the teacups, the little splash mountain thing. Like all that. All that shit is still. Like you know, give me, give me, you know, Ragnarok. Give me my fucking slide dash. Give me all my old stuff from like. I mean, you, get, you got Sonic Arcanum. And ours Arcanum and, uh, you second got, mode. Yeah, you do got Arcanum. When you go second mode, whatever. Oh yeah, I mean, but that's the thing. Like they they put it behind like a key blade transformation. They got rid of like. You know, valor mode, wisdom mode, and, which is which is cool, kind of. It's like every Keyblade has its own little thing. But did they? Do you ever use that roller coaster outside of the, the Titan fight? No, no, no. That, that was that was a Titan Titan fight. On. Yeah. You know what I like though about that? Like I know it's it's kind of gimmicky, but it kind of like gives you a reason to use different Keyblades because now they're not just based on, like they don't have stats. It's not just stat based. Well, they now do they have, have stats. Well, yeah, that's but what I'm saying is it's not just that. Now they all have their their individual skills mm. that makes it unique. Yeah, if you're like level 99, like there's no reason to go back to the Kingdom Key back in the old games, but now you can because they all have like their own different things. No, yeah. and, and now they've, uh, I don't know if you guys played uh, the mobile game for Kingdom Hearts. Was it like unchained? I played, I played a little bit of it. Well, you know, you can <laughs> upgrade your, your Keyblades in that, and they kind of took from that and put it into three, where you can upgrade your, your Key's stats or whatever. Yeah. Um, not really a fan of that, because sometimes you I mean, if you upgrade your Kingdom Key enough, you don't need any of the new Keyblades. So it's like it kind of defeats the purpose of going out and collecting the best stuff. Um, See now, or you could just be a real fucking person, a real player, and just equip that one skill that prevents you from leveling oh, up. EXP? Yeah, and then sticking with the Kingdom Key and just going doing a level one run throughout the entire There's game. There's another one that like, doesn't reload your magic unless you use like cure or some shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not right. It's a thing. Yeah, it's like it's like it's supposed to. It's like supposed guitar. to prevent you yeah. from like the the NP gauge re um, refilling. refilling until you use your cure spell. Man, they're really encouraging you to like actually do some do challenging level shit. Level one this game. fucking run. That but, feels like a cop out. I mean, <laughs> sure, but I mean, it was something you could do in any one of the games to an extent. Yeah, but what was it something like that? I shouldn't. Like, I shouldn't have to horribly limit myself to make it more challenging. Well, the thing is, like, it made. It made no sense in the first in 1.5 and 2.5 because if you put that shit on and you stay level one the whole game, your your uh, your stats stack or your stat your stats change depending on how far you are in the game. So you still get stronger and shit like that. You just don't level up. I don't know if it's so much of a cop out. I think it's more like they just knew that people like to people do are gonna want to do that. Regardless. People like to do their level one runs, which I knew a dude who did that. Like he would play every single Kingdom Hearts game, do his one generic run that he would play for the story. And whatnot, and then he would do another one where he'd just go through uh, level one, no leveling up, and try and beat it at most. Like he's, he usually told me, he tried to beat it before, like before 50 hours. He reached 50 hours. He tried to do it quickly. But all I'm saying is, uh, let's have a moment of silence for our girl Kyrie because she uh, she is not trained at all. She didn't get her ass beat by the forces of darkness. Same horse <laughs> pick up and yeet her ass across the street. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's gonna happen probably. I just like. I don't know, it's just like, oh, we need the seven powers of light. Let's uh, hurry up and train them. Like, oh, Kyrie, come here. Like, this bitch has never picked up a fork, like, in her life. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she defended herself once, like, in Kingdom Hearts 2 when, she, when her Keyblade came out of nowhere or whatever. And then, like, they're like, oh, yeah, you're going to fight Zaynor and shit like that. Did no one watch that video where, like, Aqua Terra and fucking Ben got their asses kicked in? Like, that's going to be Kyrie three times. Like, <laughs> man, I feel bad for her. Like, it's going to happen. But Aqua was a master when she got her ass. That's what I'm saying. Like, fucking. She's gonna walk with the Zane Horde, look him in the face, and he's gonna fucking deck her in the fucking chin. <laughs> Brain's gonna hit her skull, and she's gonna be knocked out. <laughs> it's gonna be like that one, like, image of, like, Isabel being like, I finally made it in Smash, and then here comes fucking <laughs> Little, Little Mag, Mag, Mag <laughs> charging up that punch. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so what else? 
I mean, it's it, it, it's been good so far. I've made it up to Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, a lot of nostalgia within some of these worlds. Um, the story is still not the clearest, and I'm still confused on the Organization 13 and their names without the X's in them. But other than that, it, it's it's been pretty good to me, pretty entertaining so far. Jeffrey, lower that volume. Your source, the raise it, raise it higher. I want to hear it more. Jeez. Yeah. Anyway, what else? Besides fighters and piano hearts? Are you asking me? Yeah. No, I'm playing shit else. That's what he's been putting his time into. Um, the anthem, anthem beta is open this weekend. Um, I played like 15 minutes of it. Uh, I'm not impressed so far. Damn. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I just... So I hear, like, you walk through the hub world, whatever, like, in first person. Yeah, it's fucking it's slow it's as fucking fuck, and I hate it. Oh, you been playing, <laughs> yeah, you been playing the two right? this man. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's so, it's so annoying. Like, I'm like, why can't I fucking run or something? Right, like, yeah, let me like, just it, get it, through this shit. You're slowing me down slow unnecessarily. Speed. As part of the story, too, like, it, it, it like, that design is, is terrible. And the, the, I don't know, the loading times on it are kind of slow, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um... A means. Can you repeat that? You're, you're cut off a bit. No, I'm just saying, like, Anthem's alright. It's not like. Like Richard said, it's not blowing me away. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's it really might be fun to play with friends, but are, like. Are you telling me you guys don't like your Iron Man simulator? It's cool. Cool. But right, it's not long. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's cool. <laughs> It but. is, it, you cut out of it there, Fred. So all we heard was like, cool, the first part of cool, and then, and then you're like, it's cool. And then Facebook Messenger like corrected it, and it was like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's cool. It's not like anything special. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, nothing the, like. The whole interface, because I, I played through part of the first mission, it's like, you gotta find this key, you gotta open this door, you, hit, you need to find some clues, and it's like, I'm not playing this game to be a fucking RPG. Like, let me fly around and shoot stuff. Like, what the fuck is this? What, what am I doing? So that, that shit really annoyed me. Um, it sounded like some generic. There was one mission where we had, yeah, we needed some clues or some shit to open some door, and then we had to like change these three panels to a certain color or some shit but there was like no indication on what colors we needed to change them to yeah, see, I, I so me I and like three other people kept flying around fucking in this one room trying wait, to change wait. the shit hold on so this wh wh how would you describe this game like what kind of gameplay is it okay so picture destiny picture destiny okay as an iron man simulator with a nicer cleaner looking user interface which is also simultaneously useless okay but what's the primary gameplay what do you do are you shooting shit is yeah you're yeah you're shooting shit, shit. you got you got a rocket you looking for clues grenades what like, it, like the, what they're doing you get like a games. support thing like i got a barrier it's supposed and all that shit like recharges be, like not just shooting stuff like, it's supposed to be like Destiny. You're supposed to have, you pick your, your suit, your suit has certain powers, you have certain classes, but it's just not, it's not clicking with me personally. I, I know a lot of people who are very excited about the game, but from what I've played so far, it's just like... I like how people are excited for the game, and like, literally the first thing they showed was like, uh, the dude in the suit just flying through water. They're like, oh my god! It looks it look <laughs> like visually it's amazing. I'm, I, I cannot take that away from him. I loved looking at the game, but like playing it was very underwhelming for me. I'm sorry, can we can we like talk about how like I'm so not that close to the mic, but listen, look, it's picking up <laughs> the napkin I'm on my, my face. Nose. This is a uh, Blue Yeti mic. Uh, this, this podcast <laughs> has been sponsored by this podcast has been sponsored by a lot of people who don't know this podcast. <laughs> Wait, so what you tell me is Anthem is Destiny if Activision wasn't paying them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's, <'cause>, that's, <laughs> the, uh, that's the deal, right? Like uh, Bungie got it was Bungie did Destiny, right? Yeah. Bungie. Yeah, they got away they got away from Activision uh, mm -hmm. because Activision was uh, sticking their dick into something they shouldn't have constantly. <laughs> Activision is, is, 
I'm curious to see the direction of Destiny now that they've separated themselves from the Activision. I, I kind of want to see where this next year's Forsaken annual pass. Now the question. Now the question, the, the burning question on everyone's mind in in America is: Will Japan get really cool commercials again for Anthem? Yo, they really did have good they commercials got some... for like Destiny. Like, what the fuck? Destiny, <laughs> Destiny got really cool like, commercials. Destiny, really, yeah, they had like everyone dancing. They had the they had the one they had the dude in the suit go to like a laundromat. Yeah, <laughs> so, let's, let's, so weird. Let's just let's just be honest. Fuck Destiny, fuck Anthem. Just go play Warframe. All right, it's free. Uh, it's the uh, look. Onimusha, uh, Onimusha just uh, got re-released. I mean, people could be playing that. Oh yeah, Warframe's yeah. a uh, a big ass grind too. Like I played that shit. Well, the thing is with Warframe, since they've gone through so many changes since its initial release on the PS4, it's not like the, I want to say the end game, like the whole game is an end game, if that makes sense. Like, you, you literally level up your character just to level up your character again. Like, you're more powerful than most of the stuff that it, you encounter in all the worlds, but like, you want to be more powerful, so you have to do a whole bunch of resets and a whole bunch of specking. And it's not as fun as it used to be to me, as someone who played, like, in year one on PS4. Like, the, the state that it's in now is even more grindy than it used to be, because they've added so many new weapons. Because you have to level up your weapons so in your Yeah, frame, level, level up your, your weapons. Your level or whatever. You gotta your build shit. Rate. So, it, it's a lot. If you're not willing to put money in, it'll be a lot of waiting after you build stuff, which isn't necessarily bad. Yeah, I was gonna ask if there's like a, a sense of like halting. But you're gonna say pride accomplishment. No, no, no. I was gonna say a sense of halting if you like you don't put money into it. Um, I wouldn't yeah. say say that. Like so much. uh, weapons when you build, like they take real time to build. Like um, a oh, uh, it could take eight hours to build. Yeah. Oh, that's so, horrible. When Wait, like building... actual real world eight yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah. So what like when you when you go to build a warframe. But you can right? pay to make it go fast. Yeah. You, you have three parts to your Warframe, and those take like 12 hours to build, and then once all three of those are built, you have to actually build the Warframe together, and that takes another 24 hours to build. What the? Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. I don't want to play. Bro, this is Baktai all over again. You gotta kill this boss, you gotta wait till daytime. <laughs> Use that sun, my boy. <laughs> oh, God, shit. I mean, that was fun back in the day, because I had shit to do, but I mean, like... Bro, you gotta like start building your shit, go to work, come back, and hope it's done. Like, yeah. <laughs> so what you guys, you guys, I like, literally had to start building something before I went to the field just to make sure it was ready when I came back. You guys want to hear something that's gonna hurt you specifically to both Matt and Fred? What's up? Bakai three will never come to the states. Man, shut the fuck up and sit dead. the fuck down, okay? <laughs> it's dead. You I mean, you hey, it, fucking... it's. <laughs> Is it any funnier than Fantasy Star 2 never coming here? Listen, man, you can make fun of me for that all you want. You know I've, you, I've long since gotten over. Do you like that? Do you like that they made board game by you the know time? Batai three might not come over here. We might not get another Batai since Kojima left. But well, you ain't getting another Kanoa, my nigga. And that nigga still alive. He's still, still Bakuin over there, and he dead, my guy. I'm They're not. like fucking uh, Bandai Echoes, like. We need to make a platformer. Who can we use? And Kanoa's in the back, like, we need a new platform. Do we have anybody? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Bandai Namco's too busy fucking up Jump Force, so. <laughs> that game that no one's is gonna be dead on arrival. Actually, that's not true. It, people are gonna it's, buy it. It's gonna we, be uh, it's we we in the uh, JoJo community got a good look at Dio and Jotaro yeah, yesterday. That. Yeah, this they, is they, possibly one of the worst things I've seen ever. That, did that get put out today? Joe Drove's <laughs> clipping through his fucking goddamn coat. It, it does look No, good. it didn't get put. It get, Jan, uh, it's uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Get it no, for no, your no, Valentine. No. That was a <laughs> dump your ass. I'm talking <laughs> about the, the reveal for Jotaro course. and Dio. Did that just... Oh, yeah. The, no, that was leaked. But, yeah, basically today or yesterday or whatever. But who cares? Like, it looks like... I'm not like uh, it's a whole new world. They're playing in our world. Oh boy! Knock <laughs> down the twin towers again. No, what the fuck, man? They're not even there. They gonna put it there? I was saying, Goku and them are fighting in New York. You, you're gonna destroy some. That's all I'm saying, boys. Man, that game. Dumb. That game. If you ever played, what was the Jump All Stars? Jump All Stars was trash. Yeah, I own that game. Yeah, and, I did uh, too. It was. 
it wasn't fun. And then of course, and of course, not trying to. I, I love you. I love you, Will, my brother. But I'm like, this game is like <laughs> for the ultimate casual like DBZ yeah, Naruto fan. Yeah. And I brought it home with me, the jersey, and I let him play it. He was like, yo, this game is hot. And I was like, you could fucking have it. <laughs> I'm fucking on it. <laughs> and he would always talk about how much fun he's having with that shit. I'm like, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, it's, it's that that game and that My Hero Academia game that came out are just meant for people who like the brand. People, people play that shit. One justice they couldn't call it. They couldn't oh, call it what it yeah. should have been called. It's just called, it's called My Hero One, one Justice. Or what do you some mean? Shit. Wow, the it? title of the game. So, they so really stupid. They couldn't call it My Hero Academia or whatever the fuck. Why? I don't know, they just didn't call it. Because uh, Academia is, like, they couldn't call it Academia. <laughs> yeah, nah, I honestly didn't know. I thought, thought that was But those like, games like that, Jump Stars and fucking My Hero Justice, whatever, One Justice, whatever, is the reason why when, when people play these games and then they fucking jump into a game like Fighters, and they're like, what the fuck? Because they don't understand what the fuck is going on because it's an actual traditional fighter. It's that shit that turns them off of it. Anyway, I'm done with my head. You know what's funny? Is that these games, like, they all came... I want to say they all kind of came tied. They're tied to the fucking Cyber Connect Naruto games, the Arena Brawlers or whatever the fuck. And you know what's funny? Cyber Connect was gonna make Final oh, Fantasy VII the remake, and they scrapped it. Man, Hell yeah! Good reason. Fuck out of here. Uh, hey man, Cyber Connect makes good names, good games. Yeah. Hack. I think yeah they, they made the hack. Kind. They made the kind. The hack. The hack was some good shit. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you. I never played that hack. The original. I, I I make fun of GU, but I never played GU, so I'll always talk about the original game series, not, not GU. Mm. So what about you, Fred? What you play? Besides Anthem, Beta? Uh, <laughs> League of Legends, which we all know is trash. Don't you say that? Um, Listen, no, 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 no. Fred, if you enjoy playing it, talk about it. Let's hear uh, it. I sort of enjoy playing it, you know? It's like, it's an addiction, if anything. I mean, they had a, a few, like, <laughs> they had a few animated shorts that came out that are pretty cool. They got the uh, Chinese New Year event thing going on, so some cool skins. No, he's talking about League of Legends. League does the same shit. Legends, yeah. Some of those animated, like, videos and intros are dope as fuck. Like that, yeah, they the are. Kata, the Kata music video. The KDA. Yeah. It was, cool. <laughs> it was cool. I don't like the song, song. With, with awesome visuals. Uh, Jeremy's all about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. Who sucked all the joy out of your life? Fuck you, my child. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! Wow. And by, the, and by, and by proxy, my wife. <laughs> this, this podcast brought to you by good parenting. I was about to say this podcast brought to you by Planned Parenthood. <laughs> this podcast brought to you Simon's and Simon's divorce. Lawyer. <laughs> but go on, Fred. Nah, I don't know. I don't got much to say about it. I got I got a pen to kill the other day. I was happy about that. Hey. I mean, hey. I've only Turn had that two. Phone off. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. Uh. I got to play with Edison. We did some rank. The new rank, the new rank seasons out. So everyone's trying to like do their promotionals and shit. I hate ranked. <laughs> Me and Edison lost three matches in a row. We got bodied. Nice. Is, is it fair to say all of these esports games that have like ranked modes, like those ranked modes, fucking suck? Well, I mean, like I was playing uh, Rainbow Six Siege the other day. I went in. And I joined the game, and I completely owned like the rest of the match. And I hadn't played this game in like a year. And I tried ranked. I'm like, obviously, <laughs> I'm, I'm worth my beans. <laughs> like all <laughs> when that shit got spanked. <laughs> I jumped. I jumped into so, one, so, uh... one one competitive Overwatch match not that long ago, just for the fuck of it, just to see what happened. Literally within the first match, Ooh. like one of the like. The other, the other team, the opposite team, four people drop. Just drop. <laughs> and so I was just like, so this is what it's turned into. People just drop the game. They just drop it out of the game. They don't want to fucking deal with this shit. Because it's like if one person does listen to the alpha male of the group, 
that person's gonna leave like, I can't take this shit. He, he flexed such and such. And like, we don't nobody... need this for team composition. And then that person drops. It's like, oh, well, now we're 5v4. I like, play Bastion and only Bastion. Nobody so I, got, I got a question for Fred, actually. What up? Do you ever feel compelled in, uh, to do a really crazy thing, which is turn on the voice chat in League of Legends? <laughs> oh, no. The voice, ch the voice chat in League of Legends only works... Like, you, when you go into the voice chat, you would only be in voice chat with people who are in your party. But the people in the text chat, now those people... <laughs> how do you, Fred, how, how do you feel? But Do you ever just look at that and be like, yeah, th this, is, this is what I'm about? Yes, every time. Every time. <laughs> every, every time you jump it's amazing. There, when you sit there and you say, like, GG, you did a good job, does someone just jump GG on? Like, Shut up, you nagger! <laughs> oh, God! GG Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens? People just start match saying weird shit a lot of the so time. brought to you by the letter N. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, Jeremy, when are you going to try it out? Let's go. Oh, we. He needs a computer first. <laughs> I have one. I have one. I could run it on the lowest setting if I really. Lee doesn't really, really pull much. Mine. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, really do much. Shit. I don't know, man. I I want to, but at the same time, do like, really want to? I don't I don't feel like setting it up and jumping into it because I'm not all because pl I played Smite. I like how for you a little bit. Jeremy wants you to jump on, but doesn't ask his other boy. I see how it is. You're not gonna play it. Shut up. I mean, I, have it my, I literally have it on my computer. I played it at one time. Well, no, I you know, I just happened kid. to ask Jeremy because he was like, when that like, call rework happened, he was like, oh, this looks cool. Maybe I'll I, I'm interested. Maybe I'll jump on. I don't know. That's the only reason I asked Jeremy. Fortnite, like I was, I was. No. <laughs> he's, he's not gonna play Fortnite. You played Smite. I did. I played Smite very briefly, and like it was cool for like the bit of time that I did play it. But, but you want to play while, Paragon with us? Paragon's a different. I game. hate you. I didn't like Paragon. I'm sorry. Par but you I, like Smite? Fair, I will I, fight you. I What's wrong the, with Smite? I enjoyed the shit out of Paragon until they came out with that like massive update that changed everything. Yeah, the whole card system yeah. got rebuilt. That was, that was really bad. That was really bad. Smite is. I don't know. Smite just feels so unpolished and like. I can't even describe the Smite way it looks feels. Like, uh, like Smite looks like vanilla, like World of Warcraft to me. Like uh, it's just wait, 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 like wait, wait, it has. Yeah. <laughs> they have cool skins and shit, but it just there's something about the way it plays. It just doesn't feel like it has the same polish Paragon so, has. Smite Smite feels unpolished to you, but Paragon feels polished. The game that no longer exists and Smite still around. I mean, to be fair, Paragon had epic like behind it. It did look good. Yeah, I mean, they decided to, you know, fuck their own game twice, <laughs> and then sure, make yeah. a new I'm another talking, game. I'm not Big talking about the visuals. Through, said, what up, Kyle? I'm not talking about the visuals. I mean, just the gameplay in general. You felt that was more polished than Smite? It was, it oh hell yeah! Like, like Paragon played really well. It was just like for sure. It was, was just a little like, music. please, you didn't play. Smite. Like, I played Smite. I played Smite. <laughs> not you. I'm talking about Matt. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know. I play Smite. Like no, for sure. It it has that uh, it has a feel behind it too. When you like land ball. skills and shit. Like I don't know. I don't know how to. Did you play Operation Raccoon City? No. You didn't play that. Okay, I can't. That's the, <laughs> the fuck. I'm, I'm Shut up. Yes, yes, yes. Where was this gonna <laughs> go? If I, wait, wait, hold fuck on. That. Let me. Yes, Fred. Fuck where is this gonna go? Man. I say yes. It's just like it. It feels like playing that bullshit. Like when it comes to like hit hitting shit. Like you just. I don't know. I don't, I can't explain it. I think I get what you're saying, but I don't. know. It's whatever. I I might try it. I don't know. I played Smite for a little bit. Smite was whatever. Fred, when are you gonna get on that uh, that Mega Man Battle Network uh, fan made game that plays online? I think I have that shit downloaded. I was like playing the story a little bit. Right. When are you gonna get on um, Black Ops Four? Uh, I want to have Jamal, money. Jamal was telling us you were. Playing. I mean, we could play. We could play Smash. Oh, you got Smash? I do have Smash, but I just don't have a good controller. Oh, so you can be using Joy Cons? <laughs> I use the fucking Joy Con shit. That feels feels wrong. Bro, I was people, looking for my first JD Four. People swear behind the uh, in the competitive scene, you swear by the Joy Con sometimes, and I'm like. 
Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Like, that shit yeah, I guess whatever works for you. I mean, like, you see that Mac controller, so. I use, uh, the Pro Controller feels good. The, uh, GameCube obviously feels installed to keep running. And then, uh, I have, like, that wireless Power A GameCube controller. I think that's really good. Nice. I mean,. Yeah, League of Legends is basically the only one, so I don't got anything else. <laughs> sure. Jeff. Uh, uh, I got a few. I got a few things. Uh, so I got the PlayStation VR for Christmas, and I really like it. And so, so much, I think Matt should put one on and play Resident Evil Seven. Yo, that would be great. Yeah, I, w I want to. <laughs> I want to see that. So a little story. When I was because I went to GameStop in my uniform, uh, uh, which I shouldn't have, because it just fucking decredited the army because they were supposed to be strong people, and I was a little bitch. Because they had a demo <laughs> at that GameStop, so I put the headset on, and uh, I was looking around, and I was like already scared shitless. And the dude was like, "Oh my bad, I forgot this," and he puts the headphones on me, and I hear all the fucking ambience. <laughs> <laughs> I got up to the point where I walked up the stairs with all the mannequins. I was like, "No, take this off. Fuck it." Like, I'm done. I'm done. You really get close, uh, really close in, and when you look around, you actually see that you're actually like there. Yeah, like in, I didn't know. Like, really, the headset, you could like peek around corners and like peek through the door as it's slowly opening. And shit, like, yeah, no. Uh, anything that's a v like more built around VR is like amazing. I, I was really surprised. I thought VR was. I want. And I found out it because uh, there was a bill on it for a bundle. Actually, a little bit of a funny story about the VR thing. And I'm I'm not I'm not supposed to talk about it. At least with my family, my sister when she uh, helped buy it, she when it was ordered, they accidentally sent out a second like a uh, second bundle by mistake. Ooh. So she got, I was like, how did I'm like, so when did you get one? Because she told me she did, and she just smiled at me and just <laughs> laughed like <laughs> they do by mistake, so now there's two. I'm like, oh. oh. You by steel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, the same thing. The same thing happened with the 3ds's I had back in the day. That happened to me recently. I got, I got some Matt something for Christmas, and they fucked up setting it. Uh, it was the collector's edition of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for Switch. Shout out to Switch. Anyway, so I, I got them that, and like they sent, they sent it originally. To the doorstep and then ups is like fuck it i'm just gonna take it to the, the ups lockers and then they send it there they take it back to the ups lockers and i'm like all right i'll just go get it i guess i'll just go pick it up from the lockers i get there and it's like nah we sent it back motherfucker we sent it back to the, to the person who sent it and i was just like what <laughs> because like i called them up i was like where's my fucking package and it was like they sent it back it's being returned, and I was just like, how are you returning it? <laughs> so I call up Amazon and bitch and complain to them, and they're just like, all right, just, we'll refund you and just order another one. And I was like, whatever. So they refunded me my money, and I ordered another one. The next day, the fucking next day, the original one that I ordered showed up, and I was just like, all right, I guess I'm getting the free one, and I canceled the, the one that I just ordered because it didn't ship yet. So it didn't take the money out, and so I just got the game for free. It's great. Nice. Uh, Merry so Christmas, I would just Matthew. like to say, uh, FBI, I no longer associate with these gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> What's the FBI going to do? Is <laughs> no, no, <laughs> so, uh, all right. The VR had got actually a few games with. Um, well, I actually bought a few things beforehand, but I got some games with it. Which one was Moss? And the other one was the uh, little robot game, which are both like I have. I had a lot of fun. Awesome. I had a lot of fun with the robot game. I haven't finished either one, but I, I was really enjoying it. What's really cool about Moss actually is I can give high fives to her, and she's like, "Yeah, and like, yeah, we finished." That game's pretty cool. Uh, what, what was the other one? I was oh yeah, Tetris. Tetris Effect in VR is like one of the most. It makes me cry. 
fucking love it. <laughs> it was Matt cry too, and he hasn't experienced it in the VR. I experienced it in 4K. <laughs> and so, are you saying? Are you saying when it makes you cry? Does it make you cry because like it's so beautiful, or does it make you cry because the visuals are hurting your eyes? He has he has VR on, and he's like looking around, and like the tears are seeping through the headset. And all you see is like little tetraminos flipping down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after that, it would be I got the Onimosha HD re-release. Beat how, that. How, how is that? Because I played it on. I didn't play it on PS4. I got funny thing about that. So I, I ordered it on Switch first because in Japan they had it. Uh, they had it on the fucking 20th of December, and I'm like fuck it. So I, I had some extra Christmas money. I bought it on the Switch because it's in English too. It's in full English, so importing it is like might as well have done that. Uh, it ran, ran fine on the Switch. It also made me realize my joy con, my left Joy-Con is busted because it's drifting, and I need a new one. Uh, I, it ran fine, uh, and it's only motion one. I mean, there's nothing... It's not, uh, I mean, if you played it, then you know. But it's, it's and on both platforms. Okay. It's 20 bucks. Uh, the language it changes, uh, some of the cutscenes were cut in the English, uh, release, but the Yes, thank you. That's why I said it was all, it's already in English, so like you could have just imported it. In fact, uh, if you got the physical edition in Japan, you also got to scroll with it too. With, and a music CD? Something we didn't get because fuck us. At least we're not <laughs> Europe, they didn't get shit. So, fuck, yeah, I got Europe that. Ass, like, edition. Yeah, but fuck them. So, <laughs> also no, got, uh, I got the Persona dancing games again. Um, and, uh,. It sucks, though. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean again? What do you mean again? What do you mean again? You said you got it again. Uh, yeah, yeah I did. Did you buy it <laughs> twice? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing here. They're practically the same game to Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Is that what you're saying? No, I mean, like, I bought Persona 5 and 3 again. Jeff, I don't you, you're, you're saying again as in you bought 5 and 3 once, and then... You followed up with another purchase of five and three. He probably so, did. Wait, let me. Wait, let me. I just love, I love how Jeremy stopped. I, I don't. I'm, All right, so I got the I got the limited edition from Japan because uh, I didn't know when the game was going to come here because I thought it was going to take longer than it did. And then they announced it for December, and then I saw the lit the. Uh, the endless endless dancing night limited edition whatever thing in English was coming out in December, and it was there up for sixty because of a mistake on Amazon, so I pre-ordered it. And now I have now I have uh, so I have and in Japanese and English, and it sucks either way. <laughs> However, let me okay. Just a, something I'm really annoyed about. So the Japanese version comes with two cases, right? And the entire soundtrack and a music sheet, which shows each of the soundtracks, which is cool. And it has a nice decorative box. The English version, and this really annoys me, they decided to stack both discs on top of each other. They gave you this really limp dick, not even like art book. It's like a manual with a couple pages on it. It's like one of the worst packages I've ever really seen. Trash. Yeah, and the fun. game, the game is already, the game's already shit to begin with. Uh, Dancing all, I don't, Jeremy, Jeremy, I don't, Jeremy, I don't care what you say. Dancing all night is actually kind of, it's not bad, but fucking the Persona three and five, like the dancing games, are just bad. Both there's story modes, there's nothing there, there's barely anything to unlock, and the remixes for Persona three suck balls compared to Persona <laughs> five. I don't care what you say as well. Because all the dancing nigga. games are fucking trash. Yeah, but at least the mix remixes in Persona 4 aren't bad. The, there's maybe like playing Dance Dance Revolution for the story. <laughs> I'll admit, there's maybe like one or two, maybe three remixes in both games that I actually like in in four in three and five, but. It's not enough to get me to buy those games. Y'all just keep buying those games so y'all can fund the, the inevitable fucking Persona 5 arena. I made, so I made I a that, mistake once. Wait, and wait, Persona I'm not. All night. So I, I did mistake. that. I All right, so this is really stupid. I shouldn't have done this, and I I wish I knew. So yeah. you guys so you guys know Detroit, right? The, uh, the <laughs> game. 
you have to repeat that. <laughs> I already know what he's gonna say. I think Fro- wait, I think it told Fro- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what happened is- okay, the, uh, okay, so- This flat line. <laughs> <laughs> you have to repeat that, Jeff. You, uh, Alright. Alright, so you know that in Troy became David Cage one? Uh, I don't know. Can I? What? what? Can, you, can you hear us? <laughs> I hear you now. Oh, okay. well, that's weird. So you know that game Detroit Become Human? Oh, yeah. 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 So I wanted to play it, and uh, I decided to get the Japanese limited edition because it comes in a nice case. It has an art book, a lot of nice details, and uh, stickers. And I didn't realize that it had... English subtitles, it, you could change it completely to English, so I bought the English copy, too. <laughs> Not knowing that. <laughs> but that, knowing but that I suppose the... the uh, <laughs> so, I suppose... <laughs> so, I suppose... So, I suppose the uh, the good thing, though, is that I, uh, is that it was $20 instead of full price. Uh, yeah. I, I, the, the bad thing is I still haven't played them. This man's constantly getting deals. <laughs> this man's constantly getting two shits shipped to him, so he gets it for free. This man buys like the Japanese and the English version and gets the fucking J English version for like twenty bucks. What the fuck is going on? Clearly, he's doing something right. I'm looking at oh, him. Yeah. No, no, we're, we're all doing something wrong. We're all these Wait, let me. What else? What else? Like oh yeah, right. <laughs> that's right. I got uh, I got Judge Eyes, uh, the Judgment game that's coming out in the summer. I I imported that. It's all right. It's the new game by the Yakuza team. Yeah. I'm not a huge. I'm not a huge. Fan of it because it's still running on a fucking dragon engine, but it's not. Speaking of running on ancient engines, so I don't got much to complain about, about uh, that. And then I got a bunch of Switch games. Is anybody here a fan of Fallout 76? Nope. Nope. Moving on. <laughs> That's about. <laughs> wait, wait, I wait. I didn't. I didn't catch that. Fan of what? He said Fallout 76, and we all unanimously, unanimously agree. If you see, you know. if you see any of my posts. I, I somehow people keep linking me to Fallout 76 news, and it's always bad. It's every, hilarious. Yeah, every it's pretty, time. Pretty There's rumors of it going free to play, and that's a yeah. huge dick slap in the face. I heard about that. That's fucking. Oof. Oh, Oof. but you know, you know what I did get? I got Bendy in the Ink Machine, and it's unplat. You can't platinum it. Why? <laughs> because some of the trophies are completely glitched, and I don't think there's a update or coming out for. It. You know, I I looked a bit at that game and it looked pretty interesting. It's I um watching the let's plays of it, but I don't think I have time to play it. It's not bad. It's just kind of like it's the kind of horror. Game, it's a t I, I classify it as teen horror. Like young kids would definitely like if you were younger, you'd be all over it. It's well, way more interesting neighbor. if you're younger. That explains why there's yeah, like that, that like uh. Like hell, like hello neighbor, like that kind of, you know, that just comes off like it screams like, oh, this is made for little kids to watch someone stream like PewDiePie or Markiplier or, or something like that. Yeah, that sort of that sort of uh, five to Freddy's uh, shit. This podcast has been sponsored by Game Theory. <laughs> That's a dairy. Mad, mad, mad. A game theory. We're getting so desperate. I make oh, yeah. about anything and everything. Uh, so I got Travis Strike again. I haven't really. I played some of it. I didn't get too far because fucking something else came out. I forgot what. Is it a little game by the name of Kingdom Hearts 3? No, it was. Resident Evil, that's right, because I paid off the collector's edition like months, months ago. That, did you, is the one that you got, is that the one that comes with the keys? Is that the keys? <sighs> you had to remind me. <laughs> Look, man, I, I got oh. so many collector's editions. No, <laughs> no, that, no, that because Europe was the only place that got the keys. Oh, there was like a, that. and it, what I hate is it was a last minute thing too, it just popped up. I tried my hardest to use my friend to get me, help me get a copy from Europe, but like it was just sold out immediately. I, I just hate it. Get... I hate it when Europe doesn't get things because when they finally do get things, they're really fucking cool things. Like they did it to his collector's edition. Like they're getting <laughs> they're getting this collector's edition that's coming out for uh, Fate uh, Fate Extra Link. I forgot what it's called. One of the and it's a new Fate game coming out that I'm gonna get. Care about Fate? Fuck out of here! I'm talking about <laughs> this Fate game. You're gonna deal with it. So anyway, 
They're getting this collector's edition coming out because I guess they didn't get the game originally or some shit. And it's a, it's a game. It, the collector's edition comes with an entire customized Mahjong set. It's just like wow. it has a bunch of Mahjong. characters because on all the Mahjong I, pieces. That's what I want to invest my time in. I mean, it's just a nice little. You set it up. Room. You sit down. You look at it, and you're like, "Nigga, I don't even know how to play." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I also uh, I also want to. I just want to list up some other ones I got last year. Uh, for five, we got Five Z. Got Smash, like you guys. I got Katamari. I got Capcom Belt Action. And Jeff, what Monster. did you get? I think we need it. That's the better question. What <laughs> SNK 40th Anniversary and The World Ends With You. It's really Jesus nice. Christ. Well, I wanted to pick up The World Ends With You. How, how, how is that? How I would will, recommend it? I would recommend it. However, I would recommend that with a big old, with a big old throbbing... Asterisk, uh, just make sure you have a stylus. <laughs> because, like, because, okay, so when I was, when I was playing it, right, because I'm trying to, like, move around, and it's just a pain in the ass, so I figured I'd get a stylus. I tried using the I got this phone, uh, not too, but it wasn't working, so I used a, uh, a different stylus from a pen I got from work. And it's really good. You need to have like a soft rubber one. Works, mm. and, but it works just fine. Mm. I think it worked uh, the 3DS and the DS version. Do you play it uh, just purely in uh, handheld mode? Uh, you could, yeah, because I'm not going to play it because like the, the motion controls are gay. Whoa! <laughs> Can't say that, man. Well, I mean, uh, I got it for Tammy for Christmas, and she plays it like in nothing but handheld mode because she said, yeah, she no, you, because like, that's what you. or something, it was like really bad. Yeah, it is. It's not. I don't like the, because you can't use a pro controller with it. The Square wants you. They need you. The Nomura will put a gun to your head if you don't use the fucking touch controls. Oh, did you guys get Mega Man Eleven? No, no. No, I did. It's really good. But I will say what I did get as well recently. <laughs> Herpes. Uh, no, thankfully. <laughs> um, I got Dragon Mark for death. Which is a Switch title from MC Crates. You know, it's, like so it's it's the people who did Mega Man. Let's back it up a little bit. This man didn't even know about it until I brought it up. Okay, I got <laughs> Dragon Mark for death. <laughs> <laughs> I recommended it to this boy, and he was like, "Oh yeah, it looks cool." Did you play it? Yeah, I played it. I played it during my one break last How night during work. Get? How far did you get? I got to the uh, just uh, like the main hub town. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. I'm farther than you. Yeah. I played the game. Okay. Well, some of us, uh, <laughs> some of us have more responsibilities than others. And uh, what responsibility? You got a goddamn damn child. Damn. What do you mean? Unless you count him as a child, because sometimes you act like it. But other than that, uh, don't don't show this video. Timmy. <laughs> but uh, I played I played as much as I could. But uh, it from what I played, it plays pretty nice. Uh, it definitely definitely pushes that like. Game Boy Advance, like Mega Man Zero, look hardcore. Like you know, it doesn't try to just push the look. Like I think that game can actually run on the fucking Game Boy Advance. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. It is a good game. I would like to play it. It's very Mega Man Zero ish. You know, so with Kingdom Hearts, you know what would have been nice if Square was because there was a few collector's editions put out. For Kingdom Hearts 3, one of them was the Play Arts ones, and I was like, I was interested in them, right? And I'm like, I'll go see what the price is, because you can only get on the Square Store, so you know that's good. You know that's a good thing if it's only available on Square's website, because they don't upcharge a lot. So you go you go there, and you're like, oh, okay, this is $400. <laughs> boy, boy. Yeah, boy, well, I mean, yeah, I, no. it, sounded, it sounded from these uh, stories we heard, like, not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, you I mean, must be good for yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey no, oh, no. The Not the mo honestly, the most the most expensive thing that I bought uh, video game wise was the Spider Man Pro PS4. But I saved up for that. Like, what that cost? That was a regular P. That was a whatever the price of the Pro is. You know what I'm saying? This probably yeah. like, uh, Speaking of pros, you know what would look really nice? That uh, what? Was it that 500 million PlayStation 4 or whatever? No, oh, I didn't even get a chance yeah. to pre-order. Dude, I tried, I tried to pre-order. It was fucking about, impossible. I was there. I was, I was five seconds late. How about five that seconds. Kingdom Hearts 3 PS4? Fuck that. I don't like it. You don't like that one? It looks dumb. I don't think it looks aesthetic. Personally, I don't think it looks aesthetically pleasing. But that's me. I mean, some people really love it. Good for them. But, you know, they're blind. 
Yeah, I'm blind because I'm a fucking Kingdom Hearts fanboy, and I got my keyblade sitting next to your heartless over there. So if I didn't have a pro, I, I would have bought it. But I bet you Richard was the type of person that would. Mm, if you didn't have one. Stand on top of a, a snow pile, and run down it with a makeshift keyblade, and battle his friend in a video and be like. <laughs> 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 that video is going around way too much. Y'all are laughing, but when I cast Farago on your asses, y'all gonna be sorry. That's the gayest shit you ever said. And they can't say that. Can't say it. That's the least. <laughs> nah, that's the gayest shit you ever said. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. But, uh. Anything else, Jeff? Yeah, the last thing I had. Um. I could. You know what? I had it, and it was something neat, too. Ah, shit. Lost it. I might, I might, yeah, I might remember it, but it was something I actually wanted to talk about. Oh, you so, fool. I will, you think of that, I'll jump into mine, we'll come back, and, uh... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you get it. Already? No, I didn't say anything yet. No, he sure? didn't talk a sh- didn't I, take usually, a I usually try to be the last one, usually. I don't uh, think you're that important, huh? I mean... No. <laughs> I am gonna be the one editing the video. <laughs> Get to your topic. But, uh, Wait, Matt, playing. have you seen my have you seen my Yakuza collection, Matt? I guess I've seen it. Okay. I've seen it plenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Makes my, makes my dick rock hard. Anyway. Wait, hold on. Nice. Yeah, aren't you really into like Sega games? No, I think it just like really likes to. Oh. Well, let the man. No, we all. Time. That's it. <laughs> No, uh, that's not fair, Matt. I feel like we we all are. I mean, yeah. like we we've uh, well specifically with you and me, Matt. We've, we've talked a lot about specifically Sonic, I guess. I mean, always like like how video often? Video and... Uh, and what what do you what, what would you guys get annoyed? What would you guys get annoyed about every time I go, Matt? What would I do? Every time. <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> Matt's PS3, everyone's talking and deciding where we should go to eat, so I'd boot up Sonic 2. Everyone would get annoyed. Good times. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, yeah. I mean, like, it's a shame that Sega's not doing anything with, like, all their massive IPs that they have. Well, I heard they're trying to do a Sonic Adventure 2 battle remake. Don't say that. Don't what? fucking lie to me. No, 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 because I, I, recently, I recently read an article, because that was... They were talking about doing remakes for... Some kind of IP, but Sonic Adventure 2 was like on their most wanted. So, Sega was also talking about how they wanted to bring back some of their older IPs. You know how long ago that was? Over a year ago. I mean, to be fair, Sega was like like... Rise of Nightmares HD. But they need to bring back. They're bringing back Sonic 06. They need to bring back Jet Set Radio. And there was a freaking. development studio that made a pitch to them and they denied it and that shit every pissed time, me off every time i go on twitter it's just how upset shit set radio fans are at every other sega fan like make a new just that radio put escape from streets of rage in it they don't even have to do universes they legit don't have to do any work there are these fucking development studios that are coming forth and pitching it to them and they're just like nah but then you get games like hover and shit like that was Hover good? Because I, I know I downloaded it, but I never, never got it on the phone. It's on PS4. Uh, it's de- it. it's decent. I mean, I haven't played it from what I've what I've seen. It's not bad. It's definitely not because uh, uh, what is it? Who's the composer on it? Was uh, the dude who worked on Jet Set Radio? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. he's not the composer. Yeah. He did no, he's one. one he's one of them. No, two songs. Yeah, yeah. He did two songs for the game. Every time. Every time he's brought up, I love how you just gotta you correct it. You're just like, fuck that guy. Because, almost. no, I love a deck not new one, but if you're gonna sit here and be like, no, oh, he I just. For that game, he didn't. Just, he I, did love two songs. I love it. It's like how he did one song for fucking Persona. Only the guys who made Hover could even afford him. He also did one song for Lethal League. The guys who made Lethal League probably could could barely afford that one song. Ooh, it's so a Lethal League Blaze. We're gonna, we're gonna pick that up we do. I want to really play it. Because really it's already out. It. Huh? Uh, I it was already out for they added a character. No, it's out for PC. So I'm actually holding. I'm actually holding the game. The, the last game I forgot to bring up. It's in my hands. Jeff remembered his game. Lethal League Blaze. Sankagra. I bought Seven Kagura Blast Renew. Renewal? Yeah, I gotta get that game. Yeah. At the edition thing. That was it. So, what I've been playing, uh, try this, uh, what I've been playing, Redux, uh, a lot of, is this initial release date, October 24th? 
2018. 2018. Yeah, I told you. It's out. It yeah. came out. No, Deontay Taylor and last year. No, Lethal League PS4. Blaze is out. Lethal League Blaze is not out for the PS4. Go boot up your PS4 after no, this I'm podcast. You, it's not out until spring of 2019. I've it been looking out. forward to this. I this podcast is brought to you by Arguing. I looked at it on the <laughs> store. Lethal League Blaze is out. No, it's not. It is. I'm about to, you know anyway. what? That's okay. You continue, Matt. Go on. So I've been playing uh, a lot of Smash Brothers. A lot. A lot of Smash Brothers. And uh, I'm going to say this now. It's my favorite Smash Brothers to date. Uh, they did a lot of things right with Ultimate. I feel, uh, despite his giant ass roster and uh, lots of uh, room for errors and shit because of uh, such a big cast and all the like, stages and shit, uh, I've been I've been uh, mainly playing uh, Young Link and uh, Inkling, mixing it up with like Roy and Snake in there. I love I love Snake in this game. He's so fucking good. And uh, playing a lot of online. People will like the trash on the online, but the online is actually really good. Especially compared to Smash 4 and, uh, and fucking Brawl. But that's Brawl. not what you told me. No, I mean, like, connectivity-wise, is really good. Hey, what are you talking about? I, I did tell you it was good. But, I mean, like, obviously the obviously people clash with the preferred rule set thing. Because, like, sometimes you want to play a three-stock seven-minute match, and some people are choosing, like, two stocks three minutes for some reason. Like, you can actually... I think a lot of people on the, online are trying to get the, trying to build their points up to get to Elite. And what, what happens is that, like, the... He set the like stupid ass rule set so you can't like feasibly kill them within that time limit so it goes into sudden death and you try to get an easy kill from you and then you quit the game fucking assholes because you're not you're not forced to do a best two out of three but you can rematch and uh oh, i've been really enjoying it uh i went to one of my first quote-unquote major tournaments uh, a few weeks ago over in, uh, in seattle a game works called uh Orbitor. and uh there was like eight pools. I didn't make it out of pools, obviously, because I fucking sucked. But uh, I won three, I won three wins, two losses. So I mean, like, I, at least I won positive when I fucking left. But played some casuals. It was pretty fun. Uh, at least I know I, I'm doing pretty decent. Uh, if anyone tells you you can't learn anything via ball online, they're bullshitting you. Given you do develop some bad uh, habits online when you play games online because of the lag and shit. But I mean, like, you can definitely uh, improve. But no. I'm, I'm... Continue. Don't worry about it. Well, you're fucking still trying to look up this Lethal League Blaze thing. It's on. It's on uh, PSN. I, I told you. Oh, I know it is. Lethal League, not Lethal League Blaze, which is the second title. Is it an actual second title? Or is it just like that's an what I'm saying. There's a part two. Is it part two? Is it just like an update? Part it's two. It's an update. No, it's part two. It is the second game coming in spring of 2019. I always thought. I always thought like Lethal League Blaze was just like the title of like it coming out for like everything. No, because Lethal League, like, the first game is already out on PS4. But Lethal League Blaze, the second game that just came out for the PC, is coming to PS4 Spring 2019. You know what? How much did they change? You know what, Richard? You're right. I know I'm right. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> How much did they change in the second one? Uh, I don't know. I didn't play the they first added, one. They added new characters, um, I think models. New characters and new mechanics. New, completely, like, 3D models and shit. Like, they changed a lot. A lot. It looks really good. But, uh, yeah, a lot of Smash Brothers. Uh, game is great. Music is great. Online plays is playable. Uh, I would recommend going into arenas as opposed to just doing quick play if you really want to uh, get some good online matches in. Uh, and I've been playing a shit ton of it. Like, I'll bring it to work and play it on my breaks and stuff because I have my wireless GameCube controller, the, the Power A1. The, the first one I bought was trash. The uh, analog stick started like getting frayed, and then the uh, the analog stick itself was drifting to the left a little bit, so I had to fucking replace it. But the second one's been fine. Uh, and, I got, and I got the collector's edition too, the one that came with the comes with the steel book case, the uh, pro controller. Whoa, that that shit was not cheap. Yeah, it was. Uh, so I guess that was like a hundred and something bucks. Yeah, it was like one. I paid like one seventy something for it because fuck GameStop because I bought that. Uh, I paid an extra twenty dollars through GameStop because GameStop was the only website I can get it from at the time, and it was like, oh, if you pay the one dollar twenty dollar the one day twenty dollars shipping, you get it the day of release, which I think is bullshit. I think they should ship the games early anyway, so you get it on release. And uh, I did not get it that Friday. I actually got it in like Tuesday of the following week, so I had to buy the actual game like just a fair copy to hold me over until then because I was fucking impatient and wanted to play some Smash. Ended up giving that copy to Tammy. She's been playing World of Light with it. 
And then I call them up, and they're like, oh yeah, the, the game's gonna be there on Friday, and then fucking doesn't show up until Tuesday, so fuck GameStop, don't ever use their online store. They're fucking trash, you can buy the games from anywhere else, hope their brick and mortar stores shut down. No, that's, I guess it's not fair, because... They're, they're close, actually. actually, they couldn't find a buyer or whatever. Yeah, so a lot of people are gonna be out of jobs, man, how do you, how do you feel? They're gonna go hungry. I mean, they, they didn't fucking adopt, so fucking... Adopt? Adapt. 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 Adopt. Adopt. They didn't adopt. Adopt. <laughs> adopt. <children. laughs> they didn't adopt that thing called money. But uh, yeah, they didn't adapt properly. Uh, I mean, even Best Buy was on the right path with the Gamers Club thing, but they shut that down for whatever reason. I guess they were losing money or some shit. Probably. They never got rid of it because uh, it was worth it. I mean, like, because some people just buy the membership, buy like one or two games with it, and then like never look back. And then I, would, I thought they were making good money with it, but I'm, what the fuck do I know? I'm not a fucking. I mean, initially they were selling Gamers Club Online for a hundred dollars, so that's where they were actually making their money because the people would only buy like one or two. It was cheaper than that before they did that. It was like the reiteration of it when it first came out. It was really. Then they were like, "Okay, we can make some money off this shit." I always thought it was like thirty, like when it first started. No, that definitely happened like towards the end of its life cycle. And then. uh... Cause I was using Fred's for a while when like that shit first came out and he had it, and then I bought my own and like I mean it was worth it because like I bought like uh, when I bought Marvel's Capcom Infinite the Collector's Edition, yeah, fucking big mistake, mm, fucking yeah. big ass mistake. Because uh, I could have waited like a month later and got it for like a fraction of the price, but like the game was like two hundred, it was two hundred bucks for the Collector's Edition that came with the statues and shit. I bought it with the Gamers Club and only ended up paying like one eighty something for hold it. Hold on, hold on, don't downplay that Collector's Edition. You didn't just get statues, you got Easter eggs. Okay? Yeah. Fucking biggest fucking. What's that word I'm looking for? Biggest fucking. Hey, fuck you because false advertisement because those Infinity Stones look much better in fucking on. In the actual, in the actual advertisement? Like, ad, yeah. And then I get a fucking bunch of fucking. What Glowing those, just, Easter eggs? No, what it, what's those chocolate eggs called? The Cadbury eggs? Whatever the fuck they are. Cadbury eggs? <laughs> That's what I fucking got. Yeah, but so like bad. you can actually eat Cadbury eggs. I know, which is even more disappointing, Jeff, because I couldn't. That, I mean, unless you're, unless you're diabetic, then no, I mean, I wouldn't eat those. You I know mean, what even sucks more about those? That like, I I mean, I kind of expected that you could take them out, but you can't. And it's only what, half Cadbury of What, Cadbury eggs? I mean, no, you just unwrap them. Shut up. The fucking uh, stone. <laughs> and... <laughs> In the fucking case itself, yeah, it lights up, but it's only half of it because the other half, because it's like glued or whatever into the fucking case. So when the light shines through, it shines through, but it's only half, and it feels like really cheaply made. You know what would have been great if they were Cadbury eggs? You'd not only be able to eat them, but they would be gone afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't have it anymore. <laughs> it's a shame too because I really enjoyed Marvel vs. Capcom with it, but that's uh, just a story for another day. Uh, another game I've been playing, and uh, you're gonna see it like a little theme here is uh don't play Chronicles 2 i'm playing a lot on my switch lately because it's just easier with my kid and everything just to you know pick up and go and uh the, the kid no <laughs> 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 all right little baby more. time to go <laughs> it's, just, it's just easier to like pick up and go with the switch and just play what you need to play especially like when i'm at work and i go on break or lunch i can just pull that bitch out and play and uh i mean i never really played a game like single play chronicles 2 before and uh I mean, it's a, it's a little odd to me, like, you know, you just kind of auto-attack and then you just do your special attacks, those are the only things you input. And, uh, I mean, like, it's, uh, besides, like, you know, the, the little sexy characters they have in it, I mean, the game is really appealing, has a decent storyline so far. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it, and, uh, like, Pyrrha is interesting, Nia is interesting. I haven't gotten that far yet, so I haven't gotten, like, Mithra and the other Blades yet. Other characters. Any other oh, shit. Uh, main characters but it's been it's been pretty fun there's a lot of cutscenes they even do like that thing that uh like tells us uh the tales games do where like when you get to a certain part of the map it uh you kind of just have they have random conversations and shit depending who's in your party and stuff and that's really that's really that's fun to listen to and it's interesting just to see how the characters react to each other you know what other so. game does that but, yeah. well yeah they, they kind of just run around and donald's like <laughs> <laughs> Like, and then Goofy's like, I fucking, fucking saw this. Mouth. I saw this video on Twitter yesterday, and it was a fucking. Uh, they were at the the Hercules World Olympus, and fucking, they're on top of like some building. Is that, this? Is that the picture one? 
Yeah, yeah Sora's yeah. taking a picture of Hercules, and here comes Goofy's goofy ass, <laughs> knocks him off the building, and he's just to get in the face. Yeah, he, does a, he does a salute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just knocks him off the building, murdering Hercules, just to get in the get the picture. I can find my way. <laughs> Not this I way. I can go to- ah! <laughs> But yeah, uh... Yeah, Xenoblade's been very fun, and I never thought I would like a game like that, but... Yeah, definitely pick it up if you haven't already. If you can get it for a cheap price, whatever. That collector's edition that Jeremy got me for Christmas is fucking balling. It comes with a little art book and shit. This podcast has been sponsored by Jeff, who can get you the collector's edition for the look. <laughs> I mean, I got that one. I got it for free. Because you yeah, tapped into was, the Jeff energy. Did you talk to Jeff right, did you did Jeff right before you reordered? Because uh, <laughs> I did tap into that Jeff energy. Jeff tapped into a uh, zero point. Uh, 0.1% of his powers and he gets shit for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys would be really upset to see how many movies, manga, and anime I bought last year. I would be upset. Because there's a, a lot of <laughs> Did you actually get most of it for free? No. What? Oh, well, discounted, I'm sure. Oh yeah, no, a lot of it. This man's out here. Fuck I you. need G Gundam though. I need it. I need that. Going out these girls. Yeah, did, they put out, did they put out the entire G Gundam series on Blu-ray? Yeah, I have yeah, it. I have the one that edition. I didn't get that. Yeah, I feel the burning red of from here. Get that Gundam wing on Blu-ray. I bet you do. Uh, I was, wow, imagine Family Guy cross over with G Gundam and Peter was like, Hey, Lois, the East is burning red. The East is burning red. Take this, but my Peter. Life, my hanger, and all of my sorrow. I like but when they do like those We got to defeat Dark like, Gundam. Dark. Da. Da. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go! Oh man, good time. Morning, thank God. This uh, this podcast is brought to you by Tsunami of yesteryear. Uh, good times. <laughs> Four o'clock to seven o'clock Eastern. <laughs> good um, times. Let me talk about that fucking Tenchi movie real quick. God damn, Yoko's a bad bitch. Yeah, she's she bad bitch. She's bad, she not yeah. only bad bitch, she's bad bitch. <laughs> she, she she is best girl. Let's be real. Ryoko's the best one. I hate you fucking bitch. Nobody, like, does anyone really like any other ones? I'm sure there are some people that like Mahoshi. I was gonna say like, Mahoshi only because she was the only black character. I yeah, really was she any of them. Was she black? Is Piccolo Let's be black? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Piccolo took care of someone else's son. He is the farthest from black. <laughs> <laughs> he took care of somebody else's <laughs> son? Oh no, baby. <laughs> baby. You know, you know it's bad when you're such a bad father that a black man comes in and takes over. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, this podcast is brought to you by racism. <laughs> I mean, Goku's just a shitty dad. He's, he's a, a shitty dad. He's a shitty everything. He is. He probably would have gave Broly a fucking sense to be if he could. During that fucking movie. Like, <laughs> I know I may have almost beat you, but I feel like this fight is far from... Did you see the movie? At all? No. You didn't see any of the leaks either? No, I didn't. So, if you don't mind me spoiling a little bit... Can, a can little I? bit, go ahead. So, there's a part, obviously Broly goes insane. <laughs> It starts beating the shit out of fucking deep. Do any of you guys mind? Jeff? Fred? Watch it. If I, I saw it twice. For, oh, he saw it. for reference, this is the new Dragon Ball Super The new movie. Dragon Ball Super movie, the Broly one. The what what is part. there to spoil? No, like, I, just, I don't know. Some people are just like, this is a little wedgy for you, man. Come on. Anyway, Did you know so, Broly fights? Yes, he does. So, <laughs> Cheetah's fighting Broly, kind of beating that ass. Yeah. And it. then Broly starts to rage a little bit because Frieza does something and makes him rage. And then Goku's like, I'm stepping in because Goku always has to step in. He's getting, he's getting his fucking Molly Rock. And then fucking shit's happening. And they're like, and Piccolo's like, well, let's try fusion. So he's like, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And like, mind you, like none of that shit that happened in the past, in, like in the Janemba movie shit, obviously not canon. So Vegeta doesn't know the dance, whatever. Mm. Sorry, Goku. So Goku takes Vegeta, flies up to Frieza, and he says, have, he says, have fun, Frieza, and fucking disappears. <laughs> and Broly beat him straight. up. Beat him up. So mind you, when you're doing, when you do the kitchen dance and you fuck up, it takes 30 minutes to separate. He fuck up twice. You get the fat form and the skinny form. Frieza was getting his ass beat for a whole fucking hour <laughs> and, as they were fucking trying this shit. He was fucking getting fucking just... <laughs> I don't know. There's, know. um... There, uh, this isn't a spoiler, because this happens, like, right in the beginning of the movie. King Cole, uh, when all the Saiyans are called back, yeah, you know, when the, the they get called back to the planet, and King Vegeta goes out there and he has to like go greet uh, for King Cold, yeah. King Cole or whatever, and like 
says, oh, Freeze is taking over. Then first thing Freeze says to everyone is monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, what? The way he says he's it like, is just like, was this, like this is retiring effective immediately. <laughs> this is no, like it just sounded really racist the way Frieza said it. Monkeys, it's like, whoa, man. Monkey. I like, I like to imagine that the minute Gogeta shows up, Frieza makes that sound from that fucking turtle montage video that was the new one, the Smash one, where Fox saw his ship on fire, and he's just like, oh, because <laughs> 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 he's just look. There's only. Relieved. There's only one real reason to see that movie, and that is the uh, the green chick, the yeah, not she got, Bulma. She got cake, man. She got cake. There's a lot. There's been a lot of pictures, and I like them. It's a shame because the bro's gonna destroy her when it comes that time. She's just gonna. Oh die. wait, there was there was another game, uh, Valhalla, uh, V A dash eleven Hall dash A. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good game. So, I got that recently for the for the Vita. Uh, because I still use my Vita actively. <laughs> and fucking, <laughs> it, it's probably one of the, uh, visual novels I played in, like, my love of Phoenix Wright. Jeff, I, I, a, you need to invest in a wired connection, my guy. Because you are cutting out every other word. It's not, it's not him. Screen. It's, it's Facebook Messenger. Well, Shout out to I'm Facebook because we're using Facebook Messenger for this. Well, I mean, call. like it happens with Discord, it happens with Skype. Not as bad. No, it, I think well, it's you guys because like it happened all the time. Like we were. Um... It's face. It's almost like Facebook Messenger was a bad move for this. No, yeah. but I'm saying like the first time we podcasted when Richard came over my place and you were still in uh, Kansas, or whatever. We tried Discord, it kept cutting off. We tried Skype, it kept cutting off, and then we tried Facebook Messenger, and it was the only one that worked. The only reason I say is because every time I use Facebook, when I used to use Facebook Messenger, because when I wasn't with Emma like all the time, we would talk, we would call each other. I would stop fucking touching <laughs> your foot, you weirdo. Anyway, oh, when I would use Facebook Messenger to call her, the same exact shit that we're experiencing right now would happen. Facebook Messenger sucks for fucking calls. I'm serious. I'm just saying, like. When we podcasted the fuck out of everything back in the day. That was or, that was then. This is now. No. Mm-hmm. You're not I mean, getting me. Anyway, anymore. we're not using wired connection, so it could be us. It's true. Uh, anyway, Jeff, go back to because so, that's microwaves. a good game. Talk more about it. I like it. Jill Jill Stingray is that her full name? I believe. Yeah. Uh, it's no, it's not. No, it's like jo- Jolian or something. Anyway, Jean character is one of the best. One of the best. It's really weird because the way. What are they called? Fucking Valhalla uh, bartending. Cyberpunk bartending cyberpunk, action, I think. Yeah, cyberpunk bartending action. Like, it's such a weird thing. You're a bartender and you just serve drinks to people that come in yeah, and, and you they just tell you talk. Their stories. To them. They tell you their stories. And you gotta make sure you get the drinks right, otherwise, you will not unlock the endings. Yeah. The proper ones. And Dorothy is one of my favorite characters. The. Uh, the weird cyborg sex doll thing. Yes, I did. I saw it and uh, looking forward to it. Uh, when it comes out, um, uh, the game is releasing on consoles soon, like uh, <clears throat> like on everything: Switch, PS4, I think Xbox. That's good. Yeah, Does it's I definitely like worth play, getting. It's like, like fifteen it bucks. It's like fifteen bucks. It's definitely yeah. worth uh, picking up. I mean, it if like, proprietary memory is still like stupid expensive. Yes, yes it is. Yeah. There's uh there's works ar- there are workarounds though. Oh there is as long as you have a Vita with uh, the firmware with 3.36 or something. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Or you could you just c- pick up a PS TV. Or you could just get a PSP. You know, I was kind of hoping that uh, when the Vita was like still young before it came out when like people were talking about it. I was kind of hoping it will still use the fucking memory sticks because they're like getting stupid cheap by that time. And they're like, no, new proprietary fucking really shaped small ass cards that cost like sixty dollars for like fifteen years. So I liked uh, Valhalla so much, I actually bought the entire music collection for it. Uh oh. It's it's three. It's only three discs. It's only three discs. Uh, but it's yeah, it's really good. The sound- I bought the soundtrack too, and it's it's a fun album. It's it's just. Uh, Ooh, oh. you have at least I can tell you right now actually because I have there's a lot of music in that game. There is quite a bit. I don't know. I didn't open it up. 
Although when I did get it, and this is annoying, there was a crack on the back of the fucking jewel case. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a visual novel uh, series, if you want to play a game, I guess to get comfy with, you know, and you don't have a lot of, you have like a lot of time to kill. Uh, definitely, that one's one of them. I'd uh, I'd uh, totally recommend that. Yeah, you just you talk, serve drinks, and you just listen to them talk. You live out uh, approximately two weeks, I think, of Jill's life. Yeah, you live out about two weeks and two or three weeks, and no, it's two weeks, I think. I don't remember. two or three, uh, and yeah, it's it's really weird. It actually gets kind of weird with uh, there's a character named Anne. Uh, Jeremy probably knows. Like, she's the chick who pops up in the beginning. And is like, oh hey, so this is the video game, and she's explaining. To, she's a really weird character. It starts to make a ghost. Uh, I mean, yeah, if they uh, actually, I know Jeremy liked it because of the cyberpunk aesthetic that it's got going on. Probably liked it because of the music. The music that too. I, everything about that game. Is Ever really every scary. day, every day is a night. One of my favorite. I've been listening to that for weeks, actually. I like to pop that on. You really get a honestly, really get attached to a lot of these characters. They're written the way the game's written. There are some. Um, there's a, there's some meme humor in there, but it's written such a way that like it feels. I this might sound far fetched because the game's set in the, like a. A cyberpunk world with talking dogs that wear Hawaiian yeah, shirts and sunglasses. But, but there's aspects of it that feel like this could be the reality in like 80 years. Just the way some things are, the way some things are shown off. Uh, this this stuff, for instance, uh, the way like blurry casual about four uh, chan boards. Just, just everything, just. The way it feels, I, I think I could picture that actually is like the future, honestly. Because there's the, there's the, there's the, door, the sex robot. What, you, don't, you don't want sex robots? No, I'm just, just saying. Doing I'm, away, sex robot in, in, like 80 years. in 80 years? I'm probably dead. I mean, we're all going to be dead in 80 years. years. Not me. I'll, that's if I roll that money. Except for Jeff, because he's going to live forever. He's going to solve the Yakuza collection. It's going to be worth a million. <laughs> But yeah, honestly, it's really good. Uh, I'd recommend it to anyone who, for just something, something comfortable to read. Really. Man, speaking of games like Valhalla, I mean, like I know it's not like the same thing at all, but like, uh, <laughs> I like no, I was gonna that. Say, uh, well, I mean, you like, know, speaking uh, of Valhalla, this is unrelated we, game. A few weeks ago, we lost the uh, internet to my place, so uh, I was just playing freaking uh, Life, Life is Strange, the uh, Before the Storm. Oh. And, uh, 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 like, uh, like, uh, two, I believe, but uh, when you when you go to Rachel's place, and they're like, "You're a bad person, Dad." Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Yo, I'm really feeling this," because like, I, I, Life is Strange is like the first walking simulator game I ever played, and I enjoyed it. I know people have their opinions on it, but I enjoyed it. So I was playing Before the Storm because I, I bought that bitch when like it was first like up for pre-order. I bought like the deluxe one that came that comes with, like the extra episode, or whatever, and. Uh, I was playing it and I was like, I need to know what happens and fucking, I want to go play the part three and it was like, you didn't download it yet. And I was like, and my internet's out. And I was like, fuck. So I just turned my shit off and lay down, hit my kid a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shout out to abusive parents. Hey, did you finish? Did you finish that? No, I didn't finish like, it yet. I, I played like in no, the No, 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 no. I think he means the first one. Oh, just a general. I'm just curious. I beat the first one, yeah. Uh, I finished both, like, Life is Strange and Before the Storm extra episode that came out. I wish like, I, I wish I never bought these. Have you played Life is oh. Strange 2 yet? No, I'm waiting for it to... I, waiting to finish it out. I, for op, I'm a little more optimistic about this one because, like, I don't like Chloe and I like Max. I don't think anybody liked Chloe. I ended it, you know what the problem is with, like, I, I think I told you, Jeremy, though, like, the problem I have with Before the Storm is that it makes me not like anybody. There's no one good. Oh, no, the only all, good. They're all unlikable characters. They're, they're all unlikable. Like, you know what, don't nod, they did. They, you know what they, they, you know what they really got down? How annoying a females are, a teenage girl. 
yeah. they're really annoying. <laughs> like there were there were a couple characters that I liked in the first one, mostly Max, because I mean she's just Max. She's just the main character. Um, Chloe, I think it's intended to be that way. Chloe's just supposed to be this fucking shit. So you don't kid. feel bad Dude, when you let her get a shot in the uh... No, you see in the storm like things are she could have not done a lot of those things. She could have, but, she, but I mean but, she yeah, we gotta realize too, they're just like shitty teenagers who yeah. take things too far. Like, well of course. That's the thing. Is there Especially teenagers? living out where they live too. They're they're teenagers. In Portland, they're yeah, gonna Oregon. do dumb shit. They're gonna be shitty people because they're shitty kids learning how and to And they're going to people. a prestigious art school where like everyone has to like be the not the best, but everyone has to impress everybody for their stupid shit. You gotta come on, man. You gotta get oh. those. You gotta get those uh, uh, names hella right. I'll like... never, I'll never forget the one <laughs> moment that made me hate Chloe the most is when you're at the diner and what's that suicidal girl calls you because she just wanted the friend to talk to you, and Chloe's like, you better not oh. pick up that phone. And I'm just like, are you yeah, fucking kidding that. me? I didn't pick up the phone. She died hardcore. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? This girl needs a friend right now, and you're gonna tell her no. The fuck? <laughs> That's, hey, listen, man. If you that good in my now. I bought both uh, limited edition, actually, Strange and Before the Storm. You get paid and to I play just... video games? How do I get your job? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Wait, for one, you're not a white male. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Shout that glass ceiling, let me. Let's get into talking about the glass ceiling, shall we, gentlemen? <laughs> That'll be the topic for the next podcast. That'll be something you never talk about. Are you uh, uh, of me? <laughs> but yeah, when you finish it, let me know. I don't know. You'll probably not like anybody being the before the storm. <laughs> Why did I slip into this hole? <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> I'm sorry. I... It just cuts you off at like, the right time. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna be like me. You're gonna be like, wow, I slipped on a pile of shit into a hole that don't nod left in front of me. <laughs> and now I have to continue this because. Oh man, I stepped in shit. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, to the first. Fucking... But yeah. Yeah. That's... Not Jeff. Sorry. Um, fucking Fred. Oh, uh, what? I just wanted to make sure you're still here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you're still here, brother. He's listening. He's listening. We, would yeah. talk, we would talk about Guy or Three. Oh, fucking yeah, Fred. Played it. Fred, Fred, how's that Samama Mo? Is that what you bought all uh, the I don't have all my volumes with me. So go read it. God oh damn yeah, it. <laughs> I forgot. Even when I, even when I got. Uh... What, was that, what was that number you couldn't get? Was it like five? Five. It was number five because I still don't have volume five. Got no, it wait, now. Get volume five. It, it, it doesn't matter. Fred has it all now. I have it all now. Yeah, he Are has you gonna it all. Give it to me. You gonna you gonna give me a copy of volume five? No. 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 I didn't ask you. I don't care. I'm, I'm answering for to, them. No. I'm talking to Fred. Okay. Man, you want a volume five? You go to Amazon. You damn so pick that shit up. What the fuck, <laughs> Fred? Fred, Fred, don't give him nah. shit. <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to ba listen. I'm about to banana slam you. If this you don't boy out here, he making plenty of money. He can buy his own damn copy. Wait, why? Time. Why did you? Why did you say? Why did you say that? Banana Fred, you're gonna slam the banana. Ass. Why is banana? Are you trying to? Fuck up. Yeah, fucked up. No, Jeff. Banana slammer is what. Wow. I'm saying. Wow. So, you know, I was thinking, like maybe for the next podcast we could do it over, like PlayStation, like a PlayStation party. No, that sounds terrible. I mean, like, <laughs> it would literally be like a working audio. We wouldn't have to fidget with Facebook or you know, microphones. Like it'd all be there. I mean, I guess we could. Yeah, but we'll have to use our shitty headsets. Well, we have I don't know what you're talking like, about. I don't know what shit he has. Yeah, like, this headset's pretty good. Headset, I'm sorry you hit your kid. Yeah, <laughs> you spend money on your kid, you fucking loser. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's, there's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this setup. Is that like when you're, I guess, wearing wireless and shit, you just get cough every so often. Because all the other ones we did back in my other place, when my shit was wired and stuff, and this shit didn't happen. I'm just saying, it's just a, you get a hiccup here and there. It's whatever. It's the power of editing. You know, there's a good podcast to listen to for this kind of thing. It's called Wooly. We'll figure it out. 
It's a good podcast for listening to. Are you advertising to... other podcasts? I am. On our podcast? I am. It's What'd you say it was called? Wooly would figure it out. Wooly will figure it out. Wooly will figure it out. Where Wooly sits there and talks about his failures and how to overcome them and shit like that. Like setting up a podcast. That was his first episode. <laughs> setting up a podcast. Does he have one talking about how to get more fans? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, be more consistent with your uh, yeah, content. Yeah, be more consistent is right. We need to do this every week. Uh, I can do it every Wednesday or Thursday night if y'all want to do that. Nigga, I'm working Wednesday and Thursday I mean, night. Okay, then. <laughs> we can't do it. I mean, I can do it without me. It's whatever. I'll be a guest every other week. Unless we do it, like, earlier in the night before we go to work. What time do you go to work? I usually leave around 9. Are we, are, we are we turning this into oh, a work podcast? Did we, did, did we like finish the podcast or are we like just... We're, we're, we're kind of oh, staying we're, here. We're, we're kind of the power <laughs> of editing. I think we're I think we're about at a wrap here. Cause we all had our piece, right? Like Kingdom Hearts, Smash Brothers, Resident fucking Evil, Resident Evil, Xenoblade, this Travis Touchdown guy in his game, Valhalla, Dragon Ball. Dragon. Katamari re-rolled. Freeze again, rocked for an hour. Lethal League Blaze. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two argued about for like ten minutes. On uh, Life is strange. King that Labor was yeah. there. We talked about quite a bit of games. We did. If you enjoy listening to us talk about games and whatever the fuck yeah, else Jeremy, happens. Jeremy, you're doing this wrong. Hold on, let me get you. Hey, 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 people listening, if you keep if keep tuning in, we can talk about the Incredibles 2 is really underwhelming. Well, yeah, what he said. <laughs> and then about eventually we'll probably come out, and when I say probably, we won't. <laughs> we were just talking about how the mic was picking up like your ash cheek slap. <laughs> <laughs> and now you bring that bitch to your mouth, Michael. Like, yeah, because we gotta we gotta advertise we gotta advertise the Turbo Select ASMR. I'm just kidding. Toy's probably over there like what the fuck? <laughs> so I think those press buttons. I think we're I think this is a wrap. Hey, it's a wrap. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh Turbo Select the No problem. You can uh, catch our streams like once a week. Streams <laughs> on Twitch. We're trying to stream Twitch. Right yeah. Well, don't don't you have a pretty successful Twitch there, Jeffy boy? Yeah, I know you have used a to. He used to. Used to. When I use this, when I use, this, when I use the stream more often. All right, well, tell your JoJo community and all the people in your Discord because I see them. I see them because I'm part of that Discord as well, Jeff. I see them every day at work. Let them know. Be like, hey man, you should come check out the stream. I could, but need. they, I could, I guess. But then again, I don't know if I want those people around our stream. This, this is isn't JoJo's. Jo no. Because <laughs> <This laughs> yeah. I, I pop into that Discord every once in a while, and it's, it's. Oof. Rough. The, what the fuck are you talking about? Those people, man. Some of them. Some of What's the wrong with them? About, some of the shit they talk about. Excuse me, but if you're going, if you're jumping on any like fan base, specific fan base Discord, you're gonna run into a lot of that, no matter where you go. Uh, Dan, what's wrong with the regulars in my Discord? I came in one time when they were talking about K-pop versus J-pop and some shit, and like I like they were sitting there and talking about how, like K-pop was like. Some of the be some of the better music that they've heard, or so like, or how like they're just That's like a lot opinion, of. Oh, I only yeah. I listen, listen. No, no you're not <laughs> understanding. All right, forget it. <laughs> Podcast is over. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's better, K-pop or J-pop? You'll never know. Turbo Slide. Yes. We got a uh, blue rookie over here making his uh Fortnite. Other uh, so I'm really straying away from making Fortnite videos. Just but they're your best videos. Huh? But they're your best videos. He just, did you even see his Videl bread and butter combo video? No. Alright, then shut the fuck up. Was it good? Uh, it was basic as well. It was like 20 minutes in the lab and I figured some oh. shit out. But it also got like 300 views. As opposed to my 
sicko mode Fortnite sniper montage, which I can't even get to break a hundred views. <laughs> I mean, because fighters is like a brand new thing now. I mean, it's yeah, not. It's, it's, it's not really. Brand new. I mean, like with the with the Vidal and the, the Jiren. Yeah, because that baby just working. came out that yeah. day, so. And like not. People were really to... looking forward to Jiren. Isn't he like the most boring character it's in the existence? Most boring, non like. Interesting character. Not, 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 not to throw any shade on Richard or anything, but like, I can see why his Fortnite videos don't get as many views because people just go to other people, more popular channels that get that. Yeah, there's that plenty of people out there with fucking Fortnite. There's a you lot. Need to become more. There's plenty of places to get. Yeah, start screaming into the microphone. I'm just. I really want to stay away from being one of those rage streamers, but I feel like I can do it well. Sometimes you just gotta scream really loud in the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I do I do stuff on YouTube for Fortnite and fighting games and Call of Duty sometimes. So check me and the boys out. Play Axiom Verge. Pardon? Axiom Verge. Axiom I'm gonna try to it's like Metroid. Video, it's like Metroid, only more disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna try and stream more as a meal. This is the longest, like, see you next time. Fucking <laughs> nice. I didn't courting. Anyway, this has been uh, Richard, Jeremy, Fred, Jeff, Jeff Fred, and Matt. And Matt. Yes. Well, and uh, talk to you guys later. And hey, Luna. Fred, what's up, man? And Tori. And, and Tori. Jeff. Fred, and Luna. Don't forget